and away we go. I got I got myself a little whiskey tonight. Coop's in the house with some whiskey. This can't be good. He's off the vodka. Welcome to the Get Salty Experience. It's the only show, Ruffy, that brings the Firehouse Kitchen Table to you. To you. Correct. Yep. And as always, I got my sidekick, Louis Lieutenant Ruffy Refrano. Giddy up. Loves, loves to get you emails. We got producer Pete <laughs> in the house. Shalom, ladies and gentlemen. Shalom. Shalom. We, we got Pete in the house, and uh, it's going to be a good show. You asked for it. As Pete, as always, it's brought to you by... Boom. GetSaltyApparel.com. Get it. The only place to get some cool shit. So you guys asked for it. You guys wanted a non sock non-special operations, hard-charging motherfucker, and we found him. <laughs> we, got him. we got Chief Bro in the house. Everybody welcome Chief Bro. How you doing, guys? Thank you. There he is. There he is. Hello. What's up, Chief? Thanks uh, for coming on. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. All right. We got a non-sock, hard charging chief went through the ranks fireman he was in a couple of good shops when i read off the list you might might be banging off on the table like, oh my god that's where he was holy shit <laughs> so we got the uh, chief bro oh by the way uh pete the word of the day is today's word of the day is bro, bro. Oh. so if you thought we were ever going to drink in any of the past episodes, you could just forget it because you could forget it now. <laughs> Chief, that what are you is... drinking there? Chief is drinking some uh, homemade North moonshine. Carolina moonshine. Oh yeah, Ooh. Ooh. Oh, nice. gentlemen, Jack. And so I let me just coffee. add the coffee. coffee. What happened to the uh, chew? You spit it out. You're done. Yeah, as soon as I'm done with my coffee, I'll put the chew in. I can oh, God, in right in there. Yeah, love yeah. it. Oh, this is going to be good. All right, let me give you the let me give you the list, fellas. You let me know if there's a couple good places. A couple good places he's been. First of all, we got to salute the man because he was a Marine. That's it, United States Marine. Wow, there we go, bro. Ooh, uh. No, right? it would be hoorah. 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 Correct. 1978. Uh, 1978. One of you, most of you fucks weren't even born then. 1978. <laughs> So, 78 to 81, then he became a transit cop, right? Yep. You were lucky enough cop. to work down in the subway with the animals down yep. there. Yep. 1986. 1986, when the when the subways were full of graffiti and piss. Now they're just full of piss. And <laughs> 19, 1989. And man buns. And then, and now you got man buns and piss. And <clears throat> so, 1989, you get on the real job. Right. What made you want to go to be a fireman? Were you have any family on, or you? Uh, no, no family. But uh, if you ever worked a subway steady midnights, you'd probably shovel <laughs> shit after that. <laughs> don't steady you know, shovel the shit. The fire department call me. All right. So you get to three eleven. Yep. Three hundred eleven. Where Where are they at? Three eleven. South Queens. In Springfield. Springfield Gardens. Springfield Gardens. They're who yes. with who? They're by. Are they sitting One fifty eight truck. Swamp, is that years. the Swamp Dogs? No, that's correct. Swamp it is oh, a Swamp, swamp Dogs. Dogs. Pull it out again. Yeah. Wow, yeah. you pulled that out of nowhere, bro. I know how yeah. to do it. You had to be an animal. Tonight? What are you drinking tonight, Ruffy? A little uh, Jacks? What do you Gentleman got? Jack. Yeah, Gentleman oh, Jack. Oh, Gentleman Jack. Beautiful. How you doing? That's a beautiful thing. Awesome. So you spent three, three years in 311, and you realized you got a hook. How did that come about? You realized you got a hook. <laughs> I, uh, Uncle, Uncle Fusco in the pocket. <laughs> I was in the neighborhood uh, where my cousin lives, and I seen him jogging. And he stopped to talk to my aunt. And I said, you know that guy? And they, she's like, yeah. I'm like, well, you got to hook me up. So she uh, introduced me and uh, off to the races. Is that right? Before, off to the races. You know it, right here. Before you know it, you're in a 111 truck. Right? There it, oh, there it is. <laughs> nut house. He's got it. Before you know it, you're in a 111 truck in what, 92? Uh, yes. Yes. Dennis, was Dennis Murphy there when you were there? Who? Dennis left yeah. before then. Uh, right. What about Un Ungaro? Yeah, Vinny was there. Vinny Ungaro, Teddy Crowell, uh, Pete McBreedy, Jimmy Basil, uh, Captain Pampalone was the captain. There's right. a funny story with Captain Pampalone. 
Go. You, call, you know how you call to get an interview? You want to go see the captain. That's the right way to do it. You know, you bring your beer or you bring your cake and you want to see the captain. So I call up Pamplona. And uh, I said, hey, Cap, this is Philly Servino from uh, 311. I got like three years on. Uh, I like to come in for an interview. He says, what? Who are you? I said, uh, Phil Servino. I'm out in 311. I want to come for an interview. He goes, I got guys with seven years in the engine trying to come across the floor. And you think you're going to come over here with three years? I said, Cap, I'm just trying to call you to come visit you and have an interview. He goes, you must be out of your mind. I said, Cap, shall I consider this an interview? He said, <laughs> consider it whatever the fuck you want. Yeah. Click, he hangs up. Oh, oh, shit, really? So it was a little sticky when I got there, man. He asked, <laughs> He's a good one. Yeah, he asked, he asked me, who got you there? Of course you don't give up your hook. He right. said, uh, who got you there? And I said, uh, Tommy the mechanic. Tommy's a fire department mechanic. Tommy Is that the blonde guy? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Used the blonde guy, yeah. With the yeah, the blonde guy. guy. I used to lift weights early in the morning with him in 311, you know, when mm -hmm. he was coming to work. Mm -hmm. And I'd ask him about the job. I knew shit, you know. And he's like, oh, that neighborhood, 120, 111, 123. He's mentioned these companies. I'm like, okay. So then uh, when Pamplon asked me who my hook is, I told him Tommy the mechanic. He goes, who? I said, <laughs> Tommy Stevenson, you know, the fire department mechanic. He goes, are you out of your fucking mind? You're telling me a mechanic got you here? I said, that's what I'm telling that's you. That's what I'm telling you. Yeah. Oh, uh, oh, they're throwing stuff at him. What the hell was that? It took a hey, little while. To yeah, him right. to, uh, warm up a little bit, you know. Yeah. Did, did you go on the yeah. next order? Did you go on the next order? Is that how me, soon it happened? Um, it happened pretty quick. It was me, Joey Higgins, Chris Wheelerhand oh. from Two Fourteen went, and uh, Bobby Pav went. So the four oh. of us went. Now they got double groups over there. Two double oh, groups. I, I think. loved you. What about the guys who were looking to come across the floor? They must have loved you too. Nah, I keep. You listen. I'm. I'm not that. You know, I act like I'm stupid, but I ain't. <laughs> I keep my mouth shut. I keep my eyes and ears open. I do the right thing, and uh, I only. I don't even want to. Every through every fucking rank, I shut my mouth unless I see something dangerous. If it ain't dangerous, I don't give a shit. <laughs> Whatever. Right. It's no big deal. So I did that. Kept my mouth shut. Did whatever they wanted to, you know. Except for Joe Boss, he was a ball breaker. If you remember Joe Boss, no, he I don't know. To, Joe Boss was uh, driving the rig when we rescued two, T-boned us. <laughs> he was driving, and uh, Joe Boss used to break my balls, break my balls, break my balls. So I, I just shut up, shut up. And then we're at roll call, and I ex, uh, you know, Richie Spatafore is the senior guy at the time. I'm like, uh, you're the senior man. How long? That how long do I have to be in a company to beat the fuck out of somebody in this company? <laughs> so he said, uh, it, it depends who you want to beat up. I said, him right there. He goes, immediately. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we became friends after that, obviously. Uh, so you catch, you catch some good work over there? Yeah, it was nice. It was uh, yeah. the best I've ever seen. The 102 was awesome work, too, man, with the Jewish Lightning and 201. Right. But uh, I did great work. It would, these guys were awesome. And I just kept my mouth shut, follow the rules. And Pamplon was right, man. 80% brownstones, and there's a lot of jumpers. And that's exactly what happened, you know? Really? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I'm hey. mostly, I'm not like a dead guy collector. I really didn't make no awesome <laughs> grab and say, yeah, I saved them. No, nope, they were dead, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> there's not much I could do about it, you know? I remember Jimmy try? Basil, we had a roast. I was in there, and uh, now this is the first time I have a body. Like, I've seen dead bodies before being a cop. But this is the first time it was like we had a bag. I put him in a body bag, and the guy's arm was so stiff, and I was trying to be so gentle. Jimmy, who's, if you know Jimmy Basil, he's as, he's as awesome as they come. He goes, what are you doing? I said, I'm trying to get his arm in the bag. He goes, snap. <laughs> Snaps it and pushes it in the bag. I said, this guy's brutal. Not in the bag. He goes, Philly, he's dead, man. He don't know what's happening. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's right. So you're in 111 for how, how many years? I guess you got promoted in 97? 92. I got 97. Beginning of 97, I got promoted. So, uh, so I, he, I mean. And here you are uh, back in 111. Yeah. Wow, look at that guy. Yep. Yep. Teddy Crowell was there at the time. Vinny Ungaro was there. Pete McBrady. Was, uh, a, was, uh, who was, uh, was, what's his name there? Uh, Hade? Was Hade there? Donnie Hade was my lieutenant. Yep. 
No it's shit. Unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. That picture looked like maybe outside. You would have done maybe some collections or something, you know, like uh, <laughs> <laughs> got to yeah. break a few well, arms or something. You're going to help me, uh, Frankie and Johnny, help you find your checkbook, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, that hey, was great. Frankie, we Johnny, had, help me find his checkbook. We oh had, uh, we, you know, you had Duke, Kenny Connolly, the chauffeur. The doctor was uh, Billy Chesney. Tommy Craig. He was uh, the colonel. He was these are the three main guys, uh-huh. and uh, Charlie Williams was the other chauffeur. Those were the head guys. So That's how you on. get promoted, and then you wind up in one or two? You had to call Uncle Donnie again, or no? Actually, Phil Burns was the guy, and BC Cross, Dennis Cross, with right. the 57, five seven, five seven baton. Yeah, yep. That's why I was assigned uh, to. I bounced around in that little cubicle, like uh, under a dime. And that was thanks to Eddie Cooper and Kenny Ross. They were the age, and they kept right. me 105, 108, 102, 235. And then I took the 57R group, and I got to work in 111 and 214. So uh, Dennis liked me. And uh, How you know, long were you bouncing Dennis. before you wound up in 102? Permanently? I'm going to say probably three, four years, about that, something like that. Oh, that's a good amount of years. time bouncing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bounced for a while. So <laughs> You're all I needed. Good spots. Yeah, I bounced. That's why I had no problem. And I don't give a shit about straight tours. So the 5 right. 7 all group was great with me, man. Right. You know? So if you get the spot in 102. Right. Which is uh, right on, uh, what do you call it? Um, Bedford. The Bedford Express, Correct. right? Bedford and Myrtle? Correct. Bedford. Yeah. But that's when 209 was still there. 209 and, was uh, still there. Yep. They had so, uh, they had great guys, too, man. Yeah. They had so, Richie uh, Croce, Razowitz. Oh, was two, doing- two Richie. <laughs> Yeah. Who was doing more work, 111 or 102? Well, actually, in 01, I think 111 was maybe in the beginning, but in 2001, I think we were number one over 111 because I faxed the shit out of that to them. You know, because <laughs> yeah. when you're in Rome, you know. Right, when in Rome, do it. Yeah. Hey, listen, right? that, could be, that, that could be your heart, but as soon as you leave there, these are my, you know, somebody said that the, on one of our podcasts. Now, these are my guys, you know. Right. Oh, Everett said that, you know, once I'm yeah. there. It could be mortal enemies, but I'm with these guys now. You know what correct, I mean? Correct, correct. Racing in the whole nine yards. I remember there you are uh, in 102. Yep, yep. That's my daughter, the only one that wanted to come to work with me that day. My son didn't want no part of it. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll remember that too, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Pete, you used, to, you used to make the right out of quarters, right? And then make that left, that quick left, right? What? What? That's Myrtle there, right? To go down Myrtle. Yep. Yeah, we used to go up the wrong way. Left on Myrtle. Right, used to go up the wrong way. I remember Richie, uh, my first tour I ever worked as a lieutenant. I covered in 102, and uh, every guy over there had over 20 years. And, uh, you know, I went up in the room. I just shut my mouth. You know, we get a run for a fire. I jump on the rig, and now the the MDT, before the computer, you know, the push button was facing him. Yeah. Jason Richie. Right. <laughs> so I reach over and I spin it to face me so I could see the address. He goes, I swear to God, he goes like this. Hey, you doing, Lou? Don't do that. <laughs> it's, it's the thing back. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. he's like, I'll take care of everything. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm like, yeah. oh, you know, again, I was like this, you know, yeah. I mean, showed up. I had like, uh, you know, a day they in did. rank. They did. They did take they care did. of everything. Both, yeah. both of those guys were incredible. All of those guys. Oh, and Bobby Libel, Gregory. I mean, Dan Ray Saudi. Ray there. And Saudi. And Saudi Mond- was there. Joe Mondello. Mondello. All you those know, guys I work with. Yes. Yeah. I mean, they, they were uh, they were unbelievable. And again, I was a, a lieutenant, but I kept my mouth shut and my ears and eyes open. The only time I brought... When I left 111, they gave me like a cut down Halligan. You, have, you remember the oh, cut yeah, down yeah, Halligan? Sure. Uh-huh. We welded. <clears throat> so uh, I used to carry that around because I was bouncing in Queens, North Queens. And then I went to, I got switched to Brooklyn because somebody wanted to go to Queens and I switched with him to go to Brooklyn through Phil Burns. We had to get it okayed, of course. How you doing? Yeah. And then uh, <laughs> I go to put the Halligan on the rig and Richie Croce goes, What's that there, Lou? I said, uh, the officer's tool. He goes, uh, he goes, no, no, no. He and he picks up the little officer's tool and he swings it back and forth. <laughs> and he said, This is the officer's tool. We have an irons man, so don't put that thing on my rig. <laughs> I okay. could see I could see a senior guy uh you yeah, know. Yeah, they're like no. without you want, a doubt. You want to carry something here? You go carry this little thing. He said, Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Here you go. This thing right here. 
And it's so true, man. I mean, you didn't need nothing with them guys. It was a piece of cake. Ray Pollard, Mondello. It's a joke. You don't need nothing, man. Who gave you the name Chief Bro? Uh, you know what? I don't know. Oh. oh. There we go. Oh. Mm. I don't know who gave me that name, but I was Lieutenant Bro because I don't remember. Oh, anybody's hey, name. Hey, here we go. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> I knew this question was going to be tough. Yep. Then, <sighs> I don't remember anybody's name, so everybody's Bro. Oh. oh. <laughs> You're killing me. You're killing me. Oh, shit. The old lady's in trouble tonight, bro. The old lady's in trouble. The whole chief thing, I, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember who gave it to me. Maybe uh, Johnny Nolan at The Rock. I don't remember who gave that to me. Yeah. Well, Johnny, always... Actually, Johnny Nolan's the guy that made that T-shirt up, that crazy bastard. Oh, yeah. We're going we'll to get to that later. Yeah. I yeah. Say, most of the time, if you, you, know, if you, you worked on a detail somewhere and you knew the guy's faces, right? You knew yeah. the guy. And the guy would be like, hey, what's up, brother? You know, like, yeah. if you didn't know his name... That's right. what you did. It was just brother, you know, bro, whatever it was. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. You were giving him the quick, uh, you know, the quick thing. You know what I mean? Yes. So, yes. Uh, it's. Hey, uh, I do the same thing when you see somebody in the neighborhood. You go, hey, what's up, buddy? How's it going? Yeah. What's yeah. up, Kyle? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you don't remember. <laughs> yeah, somebody you're with to go, who, who yeah. is that? I know that guy. You're like, I don't know. I can't remember his name. I don't remember his name. What do you give him the hello, though? Hey, what's up? The double the nine. Squad, the squad. Yeah. Nine. The yeah, squad. Nine. Nine. Yeah. 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 Yep. <laughs> I never had a problem with them guys till they T-bone 111. I uh, 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 yeah. How come you never wanted to go to sock, Chief? Because they T-bone 111 and I <laughs> fractured my skull. <laughs> well, good enough. Yeah, good enough. No, I really, uh, I, I like first to work. I mean, the closest one to get first to work would be Rescue 2 probably. But uh, right. I never really had a desire. I just wanted, uh -huh. and, and I moved pretty fast in rank. Right. Like I said, I act like I'm stupid. So I moved <laughs> fast. <laughs> yeah. So when you're in 102, uh, right, you're there yeah. until the trade center. They, 102 went down yeah. there, right? They lost some guys. Correct. Then went, no, right? we didn't lose anybody. We were uh, oh, actually uh, Tuesday Tuesday morning, right? Tuesday morning was Thursday. Uh, Thursday morning. Tuesday. Morning. Tuesday. No, it happened on a Tuesday. Oh, Tuesday, Tuesday. Tuesday yeah. morning. My bad. Yes. Yeah. So I was getting off. We seen, you know, obviously we seen the, the first one got hit. So when we backed in, we came at a, a little job, I think a mattress or something, nothing crazy. We're back into the quarter. Somebody says, hey, a, a plane just hit the traits. And I'm like, what is that guy, stupid bastard? I'm thinking a little. A Cessna or some shit. Yeah. yeah. So I look at the, I look at the TV, the fucking thing's roaring. I'm like, holy shit. So we go, I go up to the roof and you can see it roaring now. Right. And then we seen the other plane smash into the other building from the roof. And that's when the tone alarm went off and we all went there. But uh, what saved us, I think, that day was uh, on our way down there, we had a clear shot over the bridge. And the cops were waving all the fire trucks over the bridge. I seen 214, Florio, wave to them, you know. And then uh, they told 102 to go to the tunnel, the battery tunnel. So I'm like, are you sure you want me to go to battery tunnel? We have a clear shot over the bridge. And they said, 102, something's happening at the tunnel. Go to the tunnel. So that's why we went to the tunnel. And that actually saved us by going to that tunnel. We would, really? we would, have, been, we would have been behind 214 going over the bridge, you know. But uh, that, that, Who that lost the guy us. when somebody uh, jumped ahead him? Was that 214? No, that was uh, 216, Danny Sir. Oh, 216, right, Yeah, right, right, yeah, right. Danny Sir. As soon as they walked up, a guy yep, uh, just yep. killed him. Yep, that was 216. Crazy. So you get promoted right after the Trade Center when they're pushing guys through the rank, right? November of 2001? Uh, November of 2001 correct right and you're a captain and you go back to 209 but the firehouse well, that you were at, or you bouncing first well first they made me go to the rock right they had they they i guess they lost instructors on it they wanted new captains to go to the rock so i had to go to the rock i talked call casano i said i don't understand why i got to go to the rock when i could go right 209 and he's like do me a favor do six months there everything will be fine so when i get to the rock santangelo was the chief and he gave a spiel that, you know, your year will go fast. And I said, uh, uh, I was told six months. He's, he was kind of an Italian rough, tough guy, but not, not didn't look like a tough guy, but he had talked like one. Mm. So he was like, no, no, no. I don't know who told you that. You're here for a year. 
I said, well, let me tell you something, Chief. You get a good soldier for six months or you get a piece of shit for a year. So you pick what you want. I could be either or. You know? he, didn't like, he didn't like me from the beginning, kind of. You know? oh, no, I rubbed him up. I don't know why. Yeah. Yeah. All right, rubbed yeah. up. All right, rubbed up. All right, yeah. rubbed up. <laughs> so, <laughs> is that what you said when you came up to him? You're like, hey, Chief. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, Sorry. That's a good so anyway, one. Now, that was all coops, by the way. Yeah. I just want you to know, Chief. Don't break my chops about it. <laughs> so you, you, you won him over right away, and you wound up staying six months. I wound up saying about six or seven months because uh, I got the spot in 209 and uh, I went to tell him, I said, hey, I got the spot in 209, so I'm going to be splitting, you know? He goes, no, I don't care if you got the spot, you're staying. And that's when all hell broke loose in the little turret. Ah, the white turret, right? Yeah. The oh, white really? Turret, yeah. A little scuffle? No scuffle. A little no. scuffle? There no wouldn't scuff. be a scuffle, please, man. Are you <laughs> shitting me or what? <laughs> no. No, I told him I'm fucking leaving, bro. So then uh, I pulled up a couple people. And I'm like, oh, there's a bro. He threw one in there. And that was it. You're like, listen, Rocco, I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm leaving. I'm leaving. But to tell you the truth, I mean, I, I guess everybody had a hard job at that point. You know what I mean? Yeah. So his job was to try and keep guys there. My job yeah, yeah, was to right. get the fuck out of there and yeah, to go right. with my company. Now I'm a captain of a company. I want to get out. Right. I want to go to the company, you know? Yeah, you know, I want to backtrack on something like what you said. I got on the phone with Cassano. Like, what you have programmed into the cell? You had the commissioner programmed into your cell phone, or how's that? Actually, <laughs> actually, when they were I called that- Sal. And uh- <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I don't it's know how the hell that worked. Man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I spoke to him. I don't know how I got in connection with him, but uh, I did. Oh, and, I thought uh, maybe uh, through uh, Uncle Fusco, maybe you know you you were. Yeah, right I'm the first yeah, twenty uh, minutes. Of this thing, oh, you know, you know what it is. I remember what it was. Um, we got in trouble, 102 got in trouble, uh, like, I'm trying to think what day it was. I don't know. They didn't have the buses yet to go back and forth to dig. Right. And, uh, they, you know, so we made up our own idea. We'd, we, you know, we'd load the truck and we'd go over the bridge and we'll flip-flop personnel every 12 hours. And then the other 12 will work in a firehouse. This way you could dig for 12 hours in, instead of 24 hours, you know? And uh, I guess I, I remember the chief, but I ain't gonna say. But uh, uh, he he seen one hundred and two going over the bridge, pulled them over, waved them over, exed Nolan. I think was the, the guy from one hundred and twenty. He was a covering lieutenant in one hundred and two at the time. What are you doing? And he's like, ah, I'm going over to switch personnel. And the guy's like, Who told you you could do that? You guys are ten eight. And he's like, We're not that far from our area. We can make it. So uh, he goes, Well. You drop your guys off, pick your guys up, then you got to report to Metro Tech. So when Nolan came over there, I said, you're covering. I got the spot. I'll go over to Metro Tech. So we switched personnel, and then uh, we go uh, we're on our way. I had to drop. There was fucking guys sitting all over the area. I couldn't pull up the Metro Tech. It looked like the Keystone Cops all over the truck. <laughs> so I had, I, had dump, I had to dump guys off at 102, and then just the guys like uh, the two, the two uh, Richies, Ray Pollard, uh, B- uh, Bobby Libel, Danny Ansardi, just the guys, the main guys that were working were with me. And when we pulled up, the chief pulled up behind us, jumped out of his car. And as we're walking into the lobby, he says, uh, you know, he's yelling at me, you know, what are you crazy? You're doing this all on your own. And uh, I said, chief, man, I understand, but you guys have no game plan. So if you have no game plan, then we make our own game plan. This is our game plan. He goes, well, you're not allowed to do that. And then, and then he stepped in towards me, and Richie Raz stepped in and put his hand on his chest and said, Chief, don't step to the lieutenant, you know? And then, uh, So then I had to calm him down a little bit. I'm like, Rich, relax. We got this. Don't worry about it. He goes, I don't want none of these guys up there, just you. So he brought me up the elevator, and he said, who is that little fucking guy? I said, that little guy's probably one of the best firemen I've ever seen, man. Richie Raz is unbelievable. I said, he, fire, he could yeah. he could say whatever he wants, man. So uh, we get up there, and Nigro left already. So Cassano was the guy to give me to talk to me, and he was a gentleman. I went into the office. I was filthy, you know. He told me to sit down. I said, Nah, I'm good. So then the other chief says, He said, Sit down. I said, Chief, you're pushing your luck, man. 
I said, I'm fine standing up. Yeah. Nobody cared tough, at this tough point. Times, right? It's tough times. Yeah, right? Nobody cared at this point. So, you know what I mean? You, I, I even yeah. told them, I said, I really don't give a fuck if you fire me. I know. You have no goddamn game plan. And that's when Sal stepped in and said, we have a game plan. It's starting tomorrow. Do me a favor. Don't do that no more. I said, okay. As long as they got a game plan, then try with me. And that's when they started the buses from Shea Stadium, I think. Right, you know? right, right. So, it was, uh, uh, it was that's a, how I got with Catano. Yeah, I mean, you could see, you know, everybody was so frustrated and it was such yeah. a time, you know what I mean? It was just... Uh, yeah. But... Right. It is so what the, it is. So it is the, guy it is. In, uh, the guy at The Rock, who was it? Santangelo? Sant, uh, yeah, Sant yeah. Sant Santangelo was the oh, original Santangelo. chief. Yeah. Did he find a horse head in his bed the next day? Or what happened no, with that? No, <laughs> no, no. He, <laughs> he did remind me of that guy, though, yeah. No, 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 no. Woke up, there was a horse head in his bed. Yeah. All right, rock up! All right, rock I really didn't know the guy that good, but I don't let nobody talk to me like that. I don't give a fuck who they are, you know? Nice. So, I that's I the way like. it goes, you know? All right, so you come back, you're, you're the captain of 209. Correct. Right. When, did, when did you get there, Phil? Um, 209. I'm trying to think. Uh, it had to be like shortly six months after the trade center, eight months after the trade center, maybe. Maybe eight months after the trade center. All right. So that's what I was going to say because yeah. I got promoted in June of 02, mm -hmm. right? So that's about 10 months, give or take, you know, or yeah. less than six. Correct. And, uh, yeah. Not eight or nine months. And yeah. my first tour. I was in 102, and you were in the engine. I don't even know if you remember yeah. that. I remember your face yeah. in 102. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we talked but, to uh, you. Yeah, yeah. We used to because uh, the office was right there, right? The, yes, the you go right through the back. Yes, yeah, so I remember coming in there a few yeah. times to talk to you and ask you, like, "Hey, listen, man, there's like yeah. five guys out there with 20 plus years. You know, yeah. you're like, yeah, same yeah. thing. Keep your mouth shut yeah. unless you got it. Yeah. You know, somebody's getting in hurt or you know, somebody's right. in trouble. That's it. That's it. That's it. When, you in, when you walked in, did he say, "Hey, bro"? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm sure I'm he going did. In again. I'm going in again. This could get sloppy real fast. I'm just oh telling my you. God. Your mother's going to get mad at you. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> and she's watching. She's telling me tonight, don't be freaking too much today on the show. <laughs> <laughs> and watch your mouth. <laughs> he, he's not lying either, Phil. <laughs> she watches every night. Your mom's one of the nicest ladies. Jesus yeah, Christ. Man. I'm so sorry. Yep. I don't apologize to her in advance. Yeah. She loves it. She loves hair shaking too. Oh, he's such a handsome man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you, they're, they're both great houses though, man. I mean, it's it's a fucking awesome job. Yeah, know? man. So you're not two, 209 until they, for whatever fucking reason, they, they decide to yeah. disband 209. Right. And what, right. How did that, how'd that come down? Like, did well, you guys actually, know it was coming or? No, nobody ever told us. We were sitting at the table, the kitchen table, and then uh, the news came up, and 209 was on the list. <laughs> like, holy shit. <laughs> on the TV, that? the TV, that's how you found out? On the TV, that's how I found out. You the company. Could you believe yep. that shit? Yep. Unbelievable. Didn't say shit to me, man. So then, uh, you know, that, of course, stirred the fucking hornet's nest. And then uh, I was breaking up the B.I., uh, and a couple, couple old-timers came in one night, Obviously not the last night it was open, but uh, a couple senior guys came in from the old school. They just want to, you know, hang yeah. out 209. Yeah. And then uh, I get a phone call. I'm upstairs and I, I get on the loudspeaker. Hey, uh, Cap, the, uh, the mayor's coming over. I'm like, who? They're like, the mayor's coming over. The sergeant just called me ahead of time. I'm like, yeah, okay, when Santa Claus comes, give me a fucking jingle. <laughs> I'm thinking it's full of shit, you know? So now uh, he goes, I'm not joking. The sergeant just called me. The mayor's on his way. So hence, we, everybody has to go in the backyard and hang out there. We don't want too many people. And he came in. He sat down. He's trying to explain the situation. And uh, I just want him out of there. So I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, he goes, Let me, let's go in the back and sit down. I said, no, no, sit right here, chief. I mean, uh, mayor, this is a nice, comfortable chair. So I got him to sit down in the house watch. And one of the guys kept be telling him, why us? Why are you doing this? What, what, what? Now, I don't give a fuck why. I just want him out of the firehouse. <laughs> so I'm trying to say, no, relax, you know, relax. We understand. We're, I don't understand. I, so I lean into the guy. I said, shut 
the fuck up <laughs> and get out of the house watch. I gave you, I gave you uh, enough opportunities. To uh, we can't we can't keep talking to this guy. What happens if he stays and he goes in yeah. his back and he hangs out with us? No, it's not gonna work. What it's was he work. trying to say to you though? Like what was he what was he even there for? Like he was he it. was there to say that he it, it was a hard choice to make. He had to make choices. He was just giving a spiel like this is why he had to do it, you know? So right. I, you know, I mean, at least he showed up. It wasn't like yeah, he, no, he did. Yeah, but he showed up at the wrong time. Same yeah, yeah, day. Not, yeah, right. You got everybody there. Yeah. Whatever they're right. doing allegedly. Right. So who, who but, was it, Rudy? Um, I don't remember if it was Rudy or not. I don't remember. I don't think it was Rudy. No, I don't think it was. Was it? It wasn't Dickens, right? No, nah, Dickens. Was before no, Rudy. It, wasn't it had Dickens. to be. Uh, it have been Bloomberg? Little Mike Bloomberg. Yeah, might have been Little Mike. I don't remember. Mm. Little Mikey. Mm. Tried I think I would have remembered if it was Giuliani. So I'm going to say it was Little Mike. Little Mike. Actually, uh, you know, the rig accident, 95, Giuliano came to the hospital he, for me. You know, I guess they thought I was likely, but I wasn't, you know, mm. likely to die, but I wasn't. And then uh, Little Mike came to the burn center uh, in Cornell for me. So they, they all tried to do the right thing. To a Why certain did you wind point. up in the burn center? What was that? Uh, that was in 133. Oh, yeah. we'll get there. Hold on a minute. We're not there yet. Yeah, you know what? I want to go back to the. To, what do you remember about the collision? To get into that a little bit. Um, I don't uh, yeah, story. that was uh, in. I think it was. I think January of '95. Uh, Joey Higgins wanted off. Charlie Williams said he'd work for him. And uh, if you know Big Charlie, you know he was a big guy. So uh, then something came up with Charlie. I'm like Charlie, you can split. I got it, man. I'll, I'll work for Higgins. So then uh, he, he, you know, he leaves. Uh, run comes in, and, and back then they used to tell you over the air. 111, it's a definite job. People trapped on the top floor, so everybody's juiced up. We were getting our floor done, so our rig was in a cage. Outside, outside right? Outside, facing this way. That's why Rescue 2 in their head probably thought we were already gone down b -Cap. But you had so to we turn had around. to go around. Uh, yeah, turn around. Block. So uh, I remember going down, I think it was Jefferson. We're heading down Jefferson towards uh, Lewis. And I leaned over to uh, Billy Reed and I said, I fucked Joey Higgins today. Now, I think, uh, you know, people trapped top floor. Maybe I'll get a chance to use the rope. I don't know. So then, uh, boom, lights out. Next thing I remember, I was on the sidewalk in a pool of blood. And in my head, I thought that rope snapped. Because the last thing I was thinking of was like a roof rope. Oh, shit, made yeah. <laughs> so uh, that's all I remember. And then uh, Mikey Trezor seen me. He's like, Philly, don't move, man. Your head split open. I'm, so I'm like, oh, I'm not moving. I said, make sure nobody takes my wallet. <laughs> <You know? laughs> That's a city guy right, right there. That's, about, about you know? That's a city guy. Where's my yeah. wallet? Watch right, my chain. Right. Where's my chain? Keep an eye so, on my gold. But yeah, a lot of guys got hurt that day. Uh, Jimmy Basil, he went to Bellevue. He ended up getting put out of a job after. He I was, was going to say, yeah, anybody put he, out the job? Yeah, Jimmy Basil, uh, Roddy Ritchie broke, uh, collapsed the lung. Uh, I don't think Roddy got put out. I'm not 100%, but Jimmy Basil definitely. Billy Reed, I think I broke his ribs in my head because it was the open cab at that time. I was standing right. up talking to him, you know? Yeah. So maybe I broke his ribs in my head when I was talking to him. I don't wow, know. open cab? Yeah, the open cab, yeah. Yeah, man. Was it T-Bone? What? T-Bone, Was it T-Bone? Yeah. Wow, yeah, you yeah. guys got lucky. Holy yeah. shit. You Joe gotta... Boss. Joe Boss was driving our, our rig. Billy Reed had the irons. Roddy was the OV, so he went flying, you know. Bobby Pav got crushed uh, um, where they hit, so he got pinned, Pav. Wow. And uh, Billy Reed, uh, Jimmy Basil got chucked out of the rig, too. So, uh, Holy shit. So what happened? They, they flew through the fucking... Yeah, they got... Nobody they got went through the fucking them. intersection? They T-boned you? How did they... I, it, you know, who knows who went through the light, but, uh, you know, there's that intersection. Rescue 2 in their defense was probably flying down Lewis, which is downhill, right. thinking we're already at the job. Right. And we're flying down Jefferson. and Because you, you, you had to go around the block. All the way around. Delayed you a little bit. Yeah, yeah. If you got to go down Marcus Garvey the wrong way and get on Jefferson just for right. one block, you know? So uh, Anybody in Rescue 2 get banged up? or? Yeah, I think so. Uh, I don't really remember. I think the lieutenant got banged up. He was in the front. But I don't think anybody got put out of the job there. No. So, uh, but yeah, that must have been. Uh, I, for, for a couple of days, I thought it was a rope, man, till I came to my senses. Oh, I, shit. You know, when I was, I forgot where I was. I think I was in Bellevue. Me, Jimmy, and Billy Reed were in Bellevue. The other guys went somewhere else. 
how long were you out for? Uh, you mean unconscious or out? No, out on medical leave total. Oh, well, it wasn't too bad. I, I'm trying to think, maybe uh, three months, maybe three months. Yeah. And they and they took they took care of me. They uh, I was responsible for opening and closing the door at one eleven for my light duty assignment. <laughs> it was great, yeah, yeah, yeah the security yeah. guy, right? Yeah, 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 yeah security. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. So that worked out fine, you know. Everybody yeah. survived. Well, that's, that's, uh, I do remember that, but, uh, you never really heard too much yeah. about, it, you know, after that, you know, you know how yeah. it is job, right? Something happens, you yeah, hear yeah, about yeah. it. Yeah. That's it. You don't hear anything about it. That's why we're always yeah. asking these things. Cause you, yeah. you probably get the real story. Yeah. I don't, I don't remember cause I was bending over talking to Reed. So I don't remember seeing anything of the intersection. That's why, you know, I thought the rope snapped and I fucking fell to the ground. Uh, I'm an idiot. Yeah. I'm like, you were like, man, I'm going to, I can't wait to break this guy's balls because I got this job off him, you And then, wham. Yeah, wham. In Bellevue. <laughs> I'm going to be thinking the same shit. I can't wait to call Coops, let him know I've yeah. got the job off him, right? Yeah. yeah. Wait, cause that could be like the time that I took the detail of Hasbro for you fucks, and you called me. I take he begs me to take the detail of Hasbro. This isn't my fucking detail. I hate it. These, assholes, these assholes get a job, and I'm laying in bed, right, fucking <laughs> listening to this entire job, and these shitheads call me, call me from, from the, the fire apartment. apartment, from the fire department. I don't think was it the fire. I think it was the floor above. I, I, mean, was... I don't know, Coops. Department phone, I pick it up and they're like, Go fuck yourself. I don't remember who yeah. that was. I think that was Ielpi's idea. Belisari, Ielpi. Belisari is working. Pat's yeah. also, I don't remember. All right, so 209 closes and they open up 133 truck in Queens. Yep. yep. Cassano called my buddy. Oh, and, uh, Sal, Sal calls. How you doing? Like, oh, Sal, and, Phil, Phil, Sal. Sal, yeah. He uh, he was a great guy, by the way. I love that yeah. guy, man. And uh, uh, who's Horsehead? What's Horsehead's real name? Remember Horsehead in the five seven? He had a giant head. No, not Canty. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say he's not from one hundred two, though. No, BC oh. Canty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was, I think. Uh, oh, Santo Canty. XO. I was in probably school with his son. With his yeah. son, yeah. His son went to one hundred five. Yeah. Yep. West Point. Yep, yep. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Big study. Yep. Yeah. Actually, uh, actually, the day before my captain test, when I was a lieutenant, I was working in uh, 105. So I was rubbing against the wall, sliding along the wall. The guy's like, what the fuck are you doing? I said, I'm seeing if any of this shit rubs off, man. Everybody that leaves this place, everybody that leaves this place gets the chief. promoted, man. <laughs> oh, shit. It's yeah. a rough something. I don't know. It yep. was. So they, they decided to open up a truck. Well, they right. did already. Ninety-eight. They opened up one thirty-three and ninety-eight. Yeah. That was uh, this was already what we in two two thousand and three. Now we're in. Okay. So, so uh, there was a guy. There was a guy who drove Von Essen who went to one thirty-three truck. I can't remember his goddamn name now. Oh shit! Drove Von Essen. He drove on Essen. They opened up 133. He went over to 133. Oh, from in 98, then you talk. Yes, in 98. Yeah, I wouldn't know. I, I had. Just... I was. I was all BFD in 98, bro. I had nothing to do. <laughs> I, had... I hate you. I hate you. Oh, bro. It. Went in Rome. Went in That's Rome. <laughs> I I can't remember his name, but he was driving Von Essen, and Von Essen's drivers had a uh, a bed in 16 truck when I was working in 16 truck because Von Essen lived right up there. And uh, he wanted, he was going to get me over the 133 truck, but uh, Pooza Ferry, the captain of uh, 16 truck, got me over to the squad. So I had to tell mm. this guy that I was going to 133. Man, right, he didn't, right. fuck, he didn't talk to me for the rest of the time, bro. I can't. <laughs> I'll tell you, man, it, 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 that was a great house. 275, yeah. 133. Yeah, no doubt. 275 gave the most 1075s in the truck. Oh, yeah. Years, They're man. Hopping, bro. Years. Yep. yep. They're hopping over there. It was so fun. How much was 126 crying when uh, oh, Al Beach? Before... Somebody just said Al Beach. Al that Beach. was his name. Thanks, Liam. Al Beach. Oh, yeah. I know Al Beach. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Yep. yeah. Al Beach. He was going to get me over to, to 133. And then uh, the other guy got me over to uh, the squad. The squad. That was it. Yep. Well, how I, was your first day? You remember how you, when you walked in there? I mean, did you yeah, work um, beforehand, or you just that was I your worked first? There, I worked there one tour before, and Joe Smithwick, uh, 
needed off or something. He gave me a call. I was in Brooklyn at that time as the captain. And he's like, uh, you know, do you mind? You want to pick up a tour for me? I, can, I need off the last minute. I said, yeah, yeah, I got it. Where do you want me to go? He goes, I got to go to 133. I said, okay. So I went to 133 for the night tour. And I don't know, something about uh, Paulie Talbot. I end up being good friends with him after this, but at the time, at the time, no. So uh, <laughs> we're in the subway, and uh, there was a light train, and they, I, maybe 127 was getting on it. And uh, Paulie says, "Here, take the, take his can." And it was a probie on the can. That probie, I forgot his name. It's a shame because he was in that floor collapse with me. I forgot. My mind's going to mush. Anyway, uh, the probie looked at me. I said, "I wouldn't give him my fucking can, bro." So I said, I wouldn't give my fucking cam, bro. I said, let him get on this light train with you. <laughs> I was just let him get on the light train. I'm and sorry, he, go ahead. And he wouldn't, uh, he's like, give him his can. I'm giving you an order. I said, okay, order's an order, you know. So when I get back to court, is, uh, Talba calls me up. And he goes, uh, who the fuck are you? And I was like, what? I said, uh, Philly Servino. And he goes, Philly Servino? I said, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm working in Brooklyn, but I, one of the guys needed off, so I just jumped on it for him. And he goes, let me tell you something. I could tell you from Brooklyn, and this ain't Brooklyn. I said, you're the boss, chief. I said, he goes, you, oh, you're disobeying a direct order. I said, let me tell you something. Well, I never disobey a direct order. I'm a fucking jawhead. I will not disobey a direct order it was a bullshit thing you said hey let him take your can oh well that ain't a direct order but when you said he's gonna take that can okay now that's a direct order so of course we listen but i would never fucking disobey never give up order. your tool who would even ask to do that anyway i know who would, but, who would say that you know to what? somebody well, I would, Paul, I, talbot wanted two cans on the light train so uh you and know, you know with him. Ordered him, that's I what know, i thought but, but he didn't want two companies out of service so I got now, it. Now that I played chief for a while, and yeah, I, call yeah, it play, yeah, yeah. I call it play chief because <laughs> if, if you're if you're a chief in good areas, you're really just playing. They know what to do, and you just make sure nobody gets hurt <clears throat> on the outside, you know. But uh, now that I played chief for a while, I totally understand that. I get I, he would have had to put his bolt out of something. This and and Queens, as you know, the the box is a farm man, so they would yeah, have got yeah, screwed. Yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, in Paulie's defense, he was he was right. I was being a dick. And he's the man, though. He is yeah, the man. The man. He the is man. the man. I, I love him to yeah. death. But yeah, uh, yeah. I think I would have probably, you know, I would have you, you get annoyed. You got to open your mouth. And well, it's your guys and it's your you. tools. That's like the right, first rule, right, right? right? Don't touch my shit and you never right. give up your tool. I mean, right. it's the first rule, you know? Uh, ask Patty Lee when you gave him the can. He trooped <laughs> down the hallway. <laughs> my can. He's like, give me the can. I gave him the can. Next thing I know, down the hallway. Yeah. Yeah. Ding him down the hallway. I mean, for 30 feet, and the fly was out the door. He's like, go yeah, get the yeah. can now, and don't give it to anybody. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, I mean, that's the, why do you think he did that? So I would learn that you never give your tool to anybody, anybody. Correct, correct. So, but, right. So, so you're at 133. How much work did you yeah. take from 126, and how hard were they crying? Uh, no, actually, they got along. Uh, Top Gun was the guy that didn't like uh, 133, I think. Uh, they're not called Top Gun anymore. What do they call Viper's Nest. Uh, oh, the Diaper's Nest. Yeah, 155. 55. Yeah, yeah. They, they had a little turmoil with uh, 133, but 126 and uh, 133 got along fine. Did they? Because you guys yeah. took a lot of work from them, man. Yeah, but it was t everybody parties together, so it wound up being okay, you know? Right, right, right. So. It wind up being good, and it, it and it was different, just like uh, when in Rome. You know, I kept my mouth shut, and I, uh, you know, I had uh, Billy Schaefer, uh, Tommy Richardson, Nick. I had so many good guys over there that would. Uh, I really didn't have to say much. And my only job was, in my eyes, was watch the probie. You know what I mean? And right. if anything dangerous you think's fucked up, you step in. You know, like uh, like. Uh, I, I'm, it's hard to get in front of the irons guy, as you know. Right. But back when they started the cameras, if it was a fucked up situation, you just play like, hey, bro, hold on a second. I got the camera. Let me take a peek. So they can hesitate for that <laughs> second. I'm not looking for first. that grab. Well, anyway, I, know, I, I hear what you're saying. You're protecting the guys. I, I want to make sure that nobody yes. gets fucked if it's I a understand. good job. I know, if it's one of them jobs that you can't really tell which house it is going down a the block, then 
I think the officer, as soon as that door's fought, you know, my excuse was, hey, I got the camera. Hold on. Not that I'm pushing him. I right, got the right. camera, and you know, just to make sure nobody gets fucked, you know? Yeah. Was, that was uh, a trick. Was Danny Youngston there? In yeah, he, yeah, Danny Youngston. Yep, yep. His I, father I worked, was the original. His father captain. was the original captain. That's right, because I worked with him in, uh, in 103. He was in 103, and then he transferred. I don't think I don't know if he worked with his father or not. No, uh, he, he worked did. with me. Uh, he, he worked. He came me. after. He came after. Yeah, he he came after his father. It was his father, and then somebody else. Man, he he flies planes. I forgot his damn name already. But he was the next captain. He only lasted like a year. They caught him on his lungs, and then I got the spot. Actually, right. Kevin Cal Kevin Calhoun. Oh, I like he's a good guy. He was there, but I had to fuck him, man. You know, it's like <laughs> hey. they, they called my firehouse. They called my do. firehouse. You gotta, gotta do what you gotta do. You were like this. Say hey, so. I remember <laughs> the No hard feeling. No hard feeling. All right, Rocco. So uh, he landed on his feet. Didn't he go to sock after that? I think he went to sock. He did. Yeah, yeah. I drove yeah. him a couple times. Yeah, yeah. He landed on his feet. So yeah. you know, I would say those, are, those got to be the two best spots: one thirty-three, one twenty-six in Queens. If you got to go to Queens, those are the yeah. two yeah. without a doubt best spots, man. As far as I I know, you know, one sixty-five. I was just gonna say five. I mean, that, that whole yeah. area is all right, man. You know, one sixty-five yeah. is is yeah. uh, that's a good place, man. Eight, oh, one fifty, one fifty, but. Yeah, yeah. Your boy McVeigh was in uh, was in two seventy five, right? Your boy McVeigh, Mike was, McVeigh. Mike McVeigh was in two seventy five, yeah. but he was Scott. He came. He was already in one hundred three uh, when uh, the chief was uh, captain over there. Yeah, actually, uh, I I, he I loved the, the hell out of it. Man. Yeah, he loved, loved the place. And turnout when them guys do something, they throw a barbecue or yeah. He said that's one thing he loved out, about man. that place. They yeah. always had a full yeah. boat all the time. Everybody good there, alumni. Yep. yep. But that's the house. That's a good. That's a that's good, good uh, house. Yeah. Right. Exactly. There's, well, there's differences. There's, like uh, I'm not going to mention companies, obviously, but uh, it was another house in Queens. I was a bouncing lieutenant right before I bounced in Brooklyn, and uh, I was, you know, I'm I'm an early riser, so it's I'm not from this house. So I guess you know, I go down, I be quiet. The house watch is empty. The guy's on the, you know, in the kitchen. You so can stay like, if you I want. Care. I don't care. Right. He can do whatever he wants. So. Uh, so I'm going to get coffee and I can't find the coffee, you know, it's like, I don't know, six thirty or something. So, uh, finally I'm like, well, this fucking guy's supposed to be on housewatch. So, so I kicked the couch a little bit. I'm like, bro, where's the coffee? He goes, Oh, it's over there. <laughs> <laughs> he points to the cabinet. Like, uh, so I'm like, oh, I got my coffee cup. I'm like, all right. So I go to the cabinet. I don't find no coffee. So, uh, the guy says, uh, I said, there's no coffee there, bro. He goes, uh, he goes, <laughs> try CV. I'm not gonna say that. Try no, no. store next door. They have coffee. Now my blood's starting to boil. I'm like, <laughs> I'm gonna shut up. I said, if I got my radio on, if we get a run, give me a yell. I go next door. They don't even sell fucking coffee. <laughs> oh so now, God. now I'm livid, bro. I'm turning this out. That quarter of the south. I don't give a shit. So now I go back to the kitchen. I got my coffee cup. I'm like, bro, they don't even sell coffee there. He goes. I don't know what to tell you, Lou. I said, I guess I don't need this fucking thing. And I throw the mug into the sink. It splatters all over the place. I said, turn the truck out. He goes, what? He, now he's jumped up. He goes, what? I said, turn the fucking truck out, bro. We're going to get coffee. He's like, are I you sure, it. Lou? You sound like you sound like I, I said, love I'm it. to kill somebody if I don't get coffee. <laughs> but then we get a run. We get a run and it winds up being a gas leak. So I said, pull over, man. There's a deli. I'll get some coffee. So Could, I you, imagine? Get, Could you imagine? Could you imagine? Could you imagine? Now I, can't even I imagine. was gonna. Now I get out of the rig, and I was gonna get a can of coffee from. Now I hear these cutie pies. Oh, give me a light and sweet. Get me a milk and no sugar on the radio. I said, Oh yeah, fuck that quick can of coffee. I told the guy, Give me a cup of coffee, black coffee with a uh, sweet and low in it. Guy goes, Okay, gives me a cup of coffee. So I go walking out my cup of coffee, and the chauffeur's like, Goes, Where's the coffee? I'll say, Oh, it's right here. Cup your hands. And I'll pour some in, and you can lap it up like the mud that you are. Oh, <laughs> oh, I can't even oh, close, man. Like the I was that you human, are. bro. I might keep that one in the. That one's going to be in the, in the pocket. Yeah. Like, what, what do you yeah. mean in the pocket? You don't got to use that anymore. You're not working anymore. We're talking know, about just in case. You never know what could happen. You never. It would know. probably just a bad group working, but uh, whatever. Yes. I was, that's it. Got out of control. Like to that's the point crazy. That I was crazy. Bro. I love it. Then I caught a job, a pretty good job, and somebody kept telling me what he's hitting. 
oh, I got a bicycle, I got a couch, I got a uh, whatever, something else. And I'm thinking to myself, fuck this guy, give me a lowdown, everything he's hitting. <laughs> so, uh, so now, you know, obviously, as a, as a new lieutenant in a new area, my main focus is two guys I'm with, man. So I'm really watching them. I'm not even fucking searching practically. I'm watching their legs, making sure everything's cool. Because first thing I always did is I checked the riding list. I don't say nothing. They could pick whatever they want. I don't know them. But then I go upstairs and I t see how much time they have on. And it's always a guy with like four years that might be the loose cannon. The brand new guy would be all right. But the four or five year guys, you got to watch them. You know, they might think they're better than they are. So I just keep a track. So then I tell the chauffeur, I said, I said, bro, ask the guy, because I'm don't. i not from here. I said, ask the guy why he gave me like a blow by blow of what he was hitting. <laughs> and the guy says to me, you're the lieutenant. You get paid the big bucks. I said, I'm going to punch you right in the fucking face and say that one more time. How could you say that to me? That's, that's crazy. I'm trying to, I don't want to embarrass nobody. I'm trying to tell the guy, go ask your guy, like, you know, what, what, the, what the fuck were you doing, bro? So, but so uh, this, you didn't put your paper in for that place. No, no, no. But that, it could have been that group. Who knows? But uh, uh, you hope. You you know, you I hope. don't want to get. I don't want to get fucking aggravated and every no, time no, I go to work. I, listen, I've been. I've had a couple of those uh, covering where uh, you know I'm waiting on the rig for somebody to come down. You know, I'm like, well, where's the guy? You know, like, what, right. what, are, what are we waiting on? I'm like, if he's not here, let's go. We're leaving. You know. Yeah. You know, and. Uh, it happened two runs in a row, like an mm -hmm. hour apart, like two yeah. o'clock, three o'clock, or something like that. I see that guy in the morning, in yeah. in the kitchen, and he doesn't say a word to me. He didn't even nothing. look at me. He didn't say anything. Hey Lou, I apologize. Nothing. nothing. Not a word. I said this place is a shit shop. Yeah, That's yeah. It. I'm how never. About, how, how about the guys fucking taking a piss, and then the other guys online to piss after him? Are you, <laughs> are you out of your mind? <laughs> It's a run, bro. It's, it's a, a run, bro. Oh, bro. Oh, bro. Oh, bro. Ice cream? Yeah. What are you getting? What do you want? Vanilla with sprinkles? What do you get? Yeah. Right, right. But I was good at keeping my mouth shut. I know, I'm. you know, everything's registered in my head. I'm not fucking hanging out here anyway, so. It is what it is. You try to tell us, try to tell the senior guy to say something. If the senior guy's a jerk off, there's nothing right. you can do That's about it. the house is a jerk off, you know what I mean? Because yeah. that guy's not doing what he's supposed to be doing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that very little horror shows. And that wasn't that was not in the Queens area where I worked. Those right. guys were dynamite over there. Everybody moved fast, everybody was into it, and that's what I like. Everybody's gotta be into it. I was gonna ask you, how do those how do the, the companies over there compare to one eleven and one two? Would you say comparable? Like, yeah, especially I would say yeah. so. Yeah, I yeah. would say comparable. I mean they didn't have as much knowledge maybe as far as different buildings, because they're a lot right. of P D, P D, P D. Right. But uh that's what it is, PD. And they were fast. They were quick. They watched right. each other. It was excellent, you know? Yeah. I loved it. Yeah, I had fun. I had they fun. had a mesh of guys from all over, like 133 open, and they had a field of guys from all over the, the city, right? Not right. just Queens right. guys. So right. you had some, probably had some Brooklyn guys there. You probably had some maybe Harlem guys there. Yeah. Who knows? Who came there, and, right? And they had dynamite lieutenants there, you know? Right. I mean, Steve Baruby was a lieutenant there. Steve um, Baruby? Yeah, he was a lieutenant there. When I first got there, and then he's a captain of 111 now. But uh -huh. you know, there was a, there was it was just no problems, bro. Zero, nothing. Right. Everything worked out fine. The fires were fun and they were fast. You weren't on Nostrum Avenue in the bucket freezing your balls off for three hours. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, 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 no doubt. Yeah, 45 minutes, bing bang yeah. boom, boom, we're gone. So yeah. it was kind of it was fun, you know. That's hey, what Chief. I told him. That's why I prefer always. I would always prefer to be in the sticks than a than a towel ladder, man. I don't want to sit there around a pissing water, you know, in the middle That's of the right. fucking winter was, somewhere. Uh, yeah. I was going to say, I forgot to ask. Was uh, Gonzo there when you were there? Yes, Gonzo was there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How Gonzo was he was work? There. Uh, he was a hard charger. I, didn't, right? I actually didn't work. I didn't work with him, but yeah, he was a hard charger. He kept the and guys I, uh, motivated. Uh, I don't know if he got the guys motivated. He got the guys annoyed, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they had to beat Gonzo to the grab. Otherwise, uh, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. He's going to get it. He's gonna get it. Right. Isn't it yeah. somebody who keeps emailing us, telling us we should put him on the show? That guy? I get him. Right. Yeah, I get a lot of guys to uh, for Gonzo to come on. But he, he, he declined. He'll be, he'll be hammered already. He he, <laughs> he, he did uh, he he did answer me. He declined uh, mm -hmm. graciously. 
He said, yeah. you know, I appreciate the uh, the opportunity. Yeah. I would love to do it, but uh, at this point, it's just not for me. And uh, I told him, listen, if he changes his mind to yeah. get back to us, but yeah, you know, that's he's why. A, he's a good fireman, but well, no, that's the way I base fireman. everybody. I don't base them as they're a good captain. Good, he's a good fireman, you know. And everybody, yeah, yeah, uh, no, no. if you're a good fireman, you're usually good all the way. You might, you know, you might lack at other things, but uh, if you're a good fireman, that's the main thing, you know. You got to have balls on this fucking job. If you ain't got no balls, I mean, I figure, like, you know, I know there's girls on this job, and I know one in particular, she's got a pair of balls, you know. I mean, uh, Mungay in 235, she was awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah she you know? was. Yeah, yeah. But you got to have that, you know, you got to have balls. If you ain't got balls, then get off the fucking job, man. You're on a long yeah. job. You know? What would you say in 235? Mungay, Lois. She Lois, was female in 235. Yeah, she was dynamite. I used, to, yeah. I used to work out with Lois in the gym. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro. She Correct. she could she could bench press more than half the guys there. Now she was a good fireman, bro. She was yep. a good fireman. Yep. Yep. She, oh, hey oh, Phil, we say all the time, right? Nobody cares, right? It, and and really, it's the truth. They're gonna break your balls if you're a girl. They're gonna break your balls if you're Italian. They're gonna break your balls right. if you're black or white or Puerto Rican or whatever the hell it is. Right. But if you do the job, that's all guys care about. That you're gonna be that's behind it. them when you're going down the right. fucking right? right. I mean, in the end, that's all right. I care about. The rest and, of it's uh, bullshit, bro. The rest of it's the rest of it's bullshit. It's it just guys breaking ball. balls. It's bullshit, man. Yeah, and those the people who have the issue most of the time, at any time, is when they're not pulling their weight because they don't have what it takes, right? Correct. And then Correct. they use the card, whatever it is, yeah, yep, yep, yep. or that, or whatever it is, and uh, that's yep. always the issue. It's always been yeah. the issue. Yeah, but right. back then you could fight about it. Now you can't do that. And, uh, oh, right. You go down the basement now, someone's getting fired, you know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, you know, there's a couple yeah. guys that went down in the basement, and, uh, you know, the guy'd break it up after that, and everything's fine, you know? But that's out now. Someone's going to get in trouble. That, there's are a you, lot of things that are out. Are you glad you're off the job now, Chief? Negative, bro. I, <laughs> Negative. Negative. I love this shit. Man. I love it. I love I live, it. I live a boring life. If it wasn't for my motorcycle, I have zero danger in my life. <laughs> you know, I, when I emailed him, Kev, I told you, I said, you know, let me throw him an email. Let me see. I see him once in a while on, uh, you know, the social media. So I said, let me just throw him a little something. So I give him a little blurb. Hey, listen, if you're interested, he writes back like two minutes later. He's like, uh, let me check it out, bro. But uh, mm. you know what? I live a boring life. I think I'm going to be in or something. But then yeah. we said, he checked it out. He didn't really watch it, I guess. Uh, as soon as yeah, he watched no, like, it, actually, uh, John Nolan told me about it. Oh, all right, that's my son Joe, right there. 120, right? Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's your son right there. Yeah, that's him. <laughs> that's Joe. Uh, he's a, he's a, he's a hard charger, at least that's what I hear from the guys over there. Like, uh Squiddo, Calamari. Yeah, Calamari's coming on next know, week. Calamari's coming on next he's week. He's a good guy, man. Ah, he's, a chip, he's unbelievable. He's a, chip off the old he's a good guy. That guy trained, did a lot of training with me in 111, man. Calamari, Eric Wiener. Eric Wiener. Right, Eric Wiener. Eddie Crowell, Vinny Ungaro. I mean, you know, these guys have their wealth of information. Greg Seminara. I mean, it's unbelievable, the, the knowledge over there. Oh. Oh. He went. He went right to 120, or he was in the engine first. No, he was in the engine first with uh, Jimmy Dugan, Dixie uh -huh. Dugan's kid. Yeah, Jimmy yeah, Dugan. yeah. 120. Yeah, he was. He's a captain of the engine. Joe went to the engine. Then he did the Geraghty Bop uh, <laughs> <laughs> to the truck. What six months? <laughs> no, no. He got off probation. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you got to pay a dollar if you use that word. By the way. <laughs> yeah. Garrity. We don't uh, yeah. we don't use that name. He's friends, <laughs> he's friends with uh Chris Garrity and oh, uh, yeah, 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 nice and, and Ryan Muziello. Muziello's son is uh in 120. Uh, that's a good uh, that's a good and tradition house there. A lot of that guys. house that house is awesome, bro. Let me tell you something. Yeah. It, it is tradition. Like my son bought a house, fucking everybody from 120 is over there helping him, man. Like it's not like immediately. They know yeah. what they're doing. they I mean they're young, but the guys that are senior. They open their mouths. They teach the kids. They tell them, you know. Pete Carroll, there's a bunch of guys over there. Yeah, right, they, right. They take care of it. And uh, I, that's all I wanted. I want my kid to know as much as possible, as fast as possible. And then that's if he ever gets promoted, possible. then at least he's got something. Instead of being cold like a fish somewhere, and then you get promoted. I mean, you can learn being promoted. I did. I learned from the guys in 102, you know. So. Mm. Well, I think we're having uh, Calamari on next week, right? Yeah, he's coming on next week. He's 
He he used to. Uh, I mean, I don't want to give too many stories because I have some yeah. stories. But his, yeah. his voice on the on the handy talkie, how he used to talk, just makes yeah. me laugh immediately. Yeah. You know, like yeah. immediately when I hear him, because he would just go through this very descriptive. You know, yeah. whatever it was, it could be the most mundane thing, but he would be right. like, you know, uh, one twenty to the four four. You yeah. know, uh, we got a gas leak in apartment four C. <laughs> and we're checking it out, and we're going to uh, shut it down with four turns counterclockwise. And then we're going to, like, he would go through this. Uh, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, it would just be like this. Just give it 18 for a 30, you know, like a 40, yeah. 2, and let's get the hell out of here. You know what I mean? Like, Yeah, very good guy. Awesome fireman, I think, bro. No, he was great. Yeah, I, seen. I, yeah. I love seeing him at yeah. jobs. You know, that was one yeah. thing I have to say, because even for myself, when I was 103, you know, you know how it is in Brooklyn. Every yeah. You're friendly, but... You know, yeah, you'll put yeah, somebody yeah, off yeah. and say, you know, if, if, if I have a block ahead of you, you know, forget it, yep, you know. Yep. But I always had I had good relationship with him. And Dennis Gordon was 120 guy. Uh, you know, I always had, uh, you know, uh, even with the engine that uh, Captain Higgins, you know, uh, he was there, yeah. you know, a long time. And uh, I learned from those guys myself at jobs, you know, because yeah. I was young, too. You know, right, so, right. Uh, you just don't say anything. You just keep in the right. back of your head, right? But yeah. don't get me wrong. If, say, like, if I, I had a chance to turn in front of him, like right in front of the block, you know, it would have been great. Right, you know? right. <laughs> it is. I mean, I did that. I did that to my own old company, man. One hundred two and one eleven running in together. <laughs> now it. it should one eleven should have been there. Something I know what happened. I'll tell you after. But we run in, and now we're a half a block ahead of one eleven. So we get off the rig. We're going up the stoop, and they're like. So I gave him the finger. I'm like, when is going? I love it. All right, we'll go. We'll go. We'll go. A first floor fire. There was a lady hanging out of the top floor. It wasn't banked down on the top floor, but it was pumping smoke. So, uh, you know, what first do now? We go down the stairs to the bit, to the uh, first floor. We pull the floor down. That's the way the line's coming. Joe Lasher gets it. Uh, 1045. He, he's got a grab there. And I had a probie with me. I think his name was Rogers. So uh, we're down there and I'm pulling on it and with last year trying to get this fat lady up the steps. And then I realized, you know, I got the probie here. So uh, I tell the, I said, bro, you got it. I said, stick your face right in her crotch. <laughs> he would, Joe was trying to pull her up the stairs. So he had, so he's like, and he puts his face in the crotch. So he didn't, I know, I thought he knew what I meant, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it looked a little sexy, but I just put the legs on his shoulder, then he got the picture. And yeah, he yeah, just yeah. pushed her up while Joe Lasher pulled her, brought her outside. Ambulance came, she goes. 111 grabs the lady from, uh, removes the lady uh, from the top floor. Good word. I so like now uh, Tansnosh was a bouncing chief at the time. Uh, I don't know where he ended up, I think Staten Island. But uh, I said, uh, you know, hey, I'm going to write up, uh, you know, Joe, like 111 would write things up. I didn't know 102's gig yet, you know. So uh, I'm going to write Joe Lasher up. Uh, the, you know, he made a grab. He goes, I, 111 made a grab. I said, no, Joe Lasher made a grab in uh, the fire floor, you know. And he goes, uh, no, that's the same lady. It's 111. I said, chief, unless the, that lady jumped down the fucking cold chute or the dumb way to shaft, it ain't the same lady. How the hell did you get from the first floor to the fucking fire floor? <laughs> so he goes, well, why didn't you tell me? I said, 1045. We gave her 1045. He, I go, see that lady over there smoking a cigarette? That's the grab. 111 <laughs> grab. <laughs> Joe Lash's grab is on the way to the hospital. Uh, right. <laughs> He's hanging on for dear life. That woman over there is smoking a red right now. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I caught I caught a little grief from uh, Tommy Burke. He was yeah. uh, in one eleven that day. Norton. Norton. Yep, Norton. Yep. Yep. He's like, what the, the uh, what the fuck? Did I'm he like, uh one in Rome? Did he get the uh, medal? Did you write him up? Did he get a uh um I was gonna write him up, but uh Joe Lash just squashed me. I, no? I guess one oh two doesn't really do that. Like uh I had another job with a couple units and uh I wrote Richie Raz. Richie Raz is like, no, no, no. I said, Rich, what the fuck, man? You might want to take the test. You get a quarter point. Yep. You know, so I, I don't know. So I got, I went out as the officer working. I bought three units because uh, the units I had and I bought uh, an A, you know, so, uh, and I got ripped off. I went to fucking 
the, the, the <laughs> Fort Totten. I should have talked to Eric Weiner for four dollars yeah. and fifty cents. He go to uh, United Insignia. I ended up going to the Rock paying ten dollars a medal or something, yeah. eight dollars a medal. Yeah, so yeah. I had to buy for every guy, you know. Right, the unit, so I, right? The units for every guy, and there's three of them. Right. We caught, we caught like we're doing awesome in 01, you know. So then uh, I give it to Rich, and then and, and whoever's working, you know, to give them the unit. They're like, oh, we don't wear medals. I said, what? You know how much money I just spent on this? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, some guys, Pollard, yeah, you're right. Some guys, all Pollard old. and Mondello, they were like, nothing. And Richie Raz, they're like, no, no, we appreciate it. We'll put them on our inside pocket of our jacket, but we don't wear them on a uniform. I'm like, oh, do something with the fucking things. I just spent like $125. <laughs> you, know? You, know, you know, it's funny you say that, Chief. Was uh, I was covering, I had worked in 102 quite a few. I think I did two vacations there back to back. So I was there a few weeks, you know, a month and a half, two weeks, you know, uh, two months. And uh, I end up going to 119 for, I don't know, if I was working there for the tour, vacation, whatever it was. Yeah. And we get a box during the middle of the day for a fire. Shalom. We, yeah, we pull up and it looks like I'm in San Gennaro Feast, right? It's people everywhere, everywhere. in the street. I, right? I, right? I, I see, I see. <laughs> I see a lot of smoke, but I can't even tell where the building is. You know what right. I mean? Right. So the engine's ahead of us. So I get up to the engine. They're stretching the line. I find the building. Now, 102 was coming in second due. And uh, I get up the stairs. I'm in, I'm in 119 first due. We get up there, and it's blowing out into the hallway, right? So right. we're just waiting for the line. You know, there's a door there. We're just waiting to, to get in there. I see Ray Pollard come up the stairs. He takes out a couple of banisters. He's got the floor above. He does a little scooch past the fire, goes up to the floor above. I don't know. Two minutes later, we're waiting for water. Two minutes later, he comes down with a guy with, this big, like a rabbi. Like, yeah. like he hands <laughs> like this. He's like, yeah, take it. I'm like this. He goes back up comes back and comes back with the woman now yeah. an old couple he, yeah. he takes two fucking legit grabs right and i don't even think that, i don't know if they ever wrote him up or there yeah. was something some fungooly thing but mm -hmm. i used to see him right before he got out um yeah. he was working in the uh the uh rack. the rack unit. yes yeah. the rack yeah. and i used to see him at jobs and he used to recognize me all the time. You know, I'd be like, yeah. hey, hey, what's going on? You still look good. They're like, what are you doing? Yeah. He's like, ah, I'm getting out, you know, whatever. I'm just, yeah. you know, you know, wasting some time here, whatever it was, you know. Yeah. I always used to look forward to seeing him, at, you know, whenever I did see him. But yeah. hands down, like, you know what I'm talking about. There's yeah. only a few times you legitly, you know, legit. And right. that guy, you know, I always tell that story, uh, you know, it was it was legit. And in a, in a, yeah. in a, to even get in the building. Just right. to with how many people were in the street. There was thousands of people, thousands of people yeah. in the street. Yeah. Like, you yeah. couldn't even find out where the guys were. You know, you didn't even right. know where the line was. Yep, yep. It's like part in the Red Sea, them people. <laughs> it was. When they come out, you got to, like, part in the Red Sea. You need a staff. It's yeah. Moses. <laughs> Moses. 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 <laughs> Spirit of Santi. Yep, yep, yep. But yeah, it, Ray was a real deal, man. I, I, yep. felt, so, I felt so bad from... Uh, I know. With his son. Oh, yep. my God. When I seen his face... Uh, you know, at the funeral it was just yeah. uh, just a, such a bad thing. You know what I mean? Yep. Such a yep. good guy. <clears throat> but uh, all right, let's get some. So tell us about Governor's Island. Let's move okay. on. Okay. All right. So now uh, I become uh, Mooney X. Me go to Rock. I go to Rock Tactical Training. I think uh, I don't know if Steve. Hey, is you promo are you promoted chief? Oh, you said Jerry. Oh yeah. You're yeah. Promoted chief. You promoted <laughs> chief. Yeah. Actually, actually, well, real quick, the, the collapse with the fire. You know, I got burnt. Uh, oh. And, uh, I went to uh, Cornell for like three weeks. Uh, I burnt my hand, started my face a little bit, but uh, right. it was a legit pancake collapse. When I went back to the building later, or they showed me pictures actually in the hospital, it looked like somebody took a skill saw and cut the whole living room out and boom. No shit. But uh, that was one of the incidents where uh, the irons guy, he forced the door and I told him, hold on, bro, I got the camera. Cause I already seen every window. Now there's a lady, a lady trapped in the basement. Well, she's fucking roasted already because every window's orange. Right. So, uh, and you couldn't find out which which house was on fire. It was so bad. We had to walk the rigs down. Mm -hmm. And then we figure it out. We see all the orange. 
their gig in uh, 133, the OV, when he goes to the rear, he tells you where the door is to, like, to get in. Like, so I think uh, Joe Nastasio yells out, uh, uh, Cap, uh, two, three side, two, three side. So to me, that means there's a door going to the cellar, two, three side. So if there's a door there, you really, if it didn't take control of the first floor, I would have loved to have gone that way. But because mm -hmm. we're not allowed, right. you got to go through the front door. Right. So, um, so that, that two, three side, was that like it goes into the kitchen and also It goes downstairs? into the kitchen and it goes down the stairs, yes. Right. And it didn't get control of the uh, kitchen yet, you know? Mm -hmm. It really didn't even have control of the first floor yet. It was just hot as a motherfucker. So right. I grabbed them. I said, I got the camera. Let me check it out. I have one glove off. And I'm going slow because it's either going to light up, collapse. What we're, What's not going to happen is us save the lady that's burnt to a crisp in the basement. So, right. And we already know two, three sides. So I know I got to kind of make my way that way. So we went in about 10 feet maybe. And I put my hand on the wood floor. I couldn't even keep my hand on the fucking thing. So I oh, Frank shit. Burke. Frank Burke had the not, uh, the line. He was a lieutenant in 275. I'm like, Frank, we're going to have to get that line up here quick, bro. And then, boom, the whole thing collapsed in front of me. Really? Everything, everything went orange. And uh, obviously, my hand was cooking. But uh, then I hit the, the probe. And the irons guy, they, all they did was turn around. And we crawled as fast as we can to the uh, stoop, fell off the stoop. Bunch of guys got burned for 165. They're at the front door. But uh, that's a, and then there was big meetings about why can't we go to the two, three side? Why, why do we have to go across the whole barbecue? Cause you right. literally walk crawling across a barbecue, you know, but, but uh, there is, there are some exceptions, right? Where you can go in that I door. I think if, now there is, now, right. I think after that we had, I had a meet with a uh, Hade. Right. He was <clears> chief of safety <throat> at the time and a bunch of other guys and holiday, <clears throat> right. holiday come to visit me in the hospital and holiday talked to me about it. And he got burnt bad holiday. He lost mm -hmm. his ears. Remember? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, I think there's exceptions. I, I'm not in the books. I'm not even in the job no more. But uh, right. I think uh, if it don't have control, right, you can go to two, three side, which is a home run. Right. I mean, you don't have to crawl across. And you know, I that was my advocate. Shit, that could go bad. Why right? are we going across the barbecue, man? If it ain't got, if it ain't in the kitchen yet. Yeah. But but there was other incidents that some chief had it. They had control, like burnt it burnt the guys on the first floor because they mm -hmm. went that way. I said, right. well, then that means the fire was in the kitchen. Right. There's no other fucking way for it to come up at the stairs. Or oh, it might come up the wall, one guy said. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> when, the, <laughs> when did you see fire come up every wall and explode the first floor into flame? Come on, right. bro. If it ain't coming up the stairs, we got it. Right. If 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 it has the door in the rear, middle, or the, or the Bilko doors, I totally understand, because that means the stairs are right in the middle of the house. Right. So now now I understand, go to first floor. But uh, I don't know, if it ain't got control, two, three sides of fucking home run. No mask on, no nothing, right to the door, mm -hmm. mask up, get a nice bow in the line, boom, down you go. But uh, it, it worked out okay. But uh, a, li a little tip is if you ever get burnt, I think. Um, I got burnt and I came outside and... And then uh, the probe, he's like, uh, Gremlin? I forgot his name. Starts with a G. But uh, he's like, he goes, Cap, that's pretty bad. And it looked like hot dogs, you know? So, but your adrenaline's so pumped, man, you know? Right. I'm like, I told the chief, I'm like, fuck that side. I can't go in that way. So then I went to the two, three side to go down the stairs. There's already a line on there. I went down the stairs. Let me tell you, bro, uh, the fucking pain was shutting my body down. Like, I yeah. couldn't. I couldn't function. Like You're I got a little disorientated. Yeah. Uh, I, I, it was at, like, like I was getting, I guess I was locking Going up. Going shock, yeah. Yeah, so I'm like, fuck, we got to get out of here, bro. So we went up. They didn't need me anyway, man. It was another truck. It was another, uh, a, a line down there ready. They didn't need Phil. So, uh, but uh, if you ever get burnt that bad and think you could keep going, I don't think so, bro. Get the fuck out. Let somebody else do it, you know? Yep. But uh, yeah, it worked out well. My fingers are bad. Yeah, lucky there. Yeah, we got lucky, man. Lucky. Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. Yeah, yeah. But the main thing is, you know, you just, you know, you can't put the shit pot on. Once you put the shit pot on. Yeah, if everything goes in the shit pot. <laughs> yeah, shit pot is that's it. If you think you're gonna put the shit pot on, let me tell you, I thought yeah. I was putting it on. Just buckle <clears> down <throat> for a second, count the five, man. 
and then realize, you know, what wall you came in on is the wall you come out on, you know? Right. It worked out fine, but you got to grip, you know, grip yourself. What was the job where the guy got on the first floor? Was, how about set that same job? Got disorientated and got stuck behind the TV. In, that on was the Holiday. That, that I was worked holiday. that job. Right. Yeah. I worked that job. He didn't yep. really get this. Well, he got disorientated because so he was getting burnt up, man. Yeah. Right. He went into the TV. Right. But, uh, yeah, that's the. Uh, I think they went through the rear with that. Uh, right. The line went through the rear, and that started this whole you got to go to the front door, man. You know? Yeah, I worked that job. We got called. I don't, I don't know if 270 was an engine or they were out. But yeah. uh, as I was going down the stairs, I fell through the stairs because they were all burnt out. I fell. Yep. <laughs> I took one step and fell right through the stairs. I mean, the fire was out at the time, but. Thank God. But, yeah. yeah, thank, thank God. God. Yeah. You know? I mean, that was that it, job. It, it, they were already uh, out at that time. By the time we got there, they were already out, those yeah. guys. But, well, that, that, you got to, you know what? Every Everything you go to should be a fucking learning thing. Like, mm-hmm. uh, and I was in 102, I had Roger to probie. And we're going to, you know, 111's got the fire apartment. It was on Nostrum Avenue, top floor. We go to the adjoining apartment. Now I'm teaching them. Like, it wasn't bad where we were, you know? So I'm like, you know, poke a little hole before you go into the apartment. He pokes a little hole, the guy. And I said, you know, look for your plan B. You know, uh, there's 111 bucket over there. There's a fire escape over there. And then uh, now we go toward the closest room to the fire. And he, I said, now poke. Now we ain't got face pieces on. It's not smoky, really. He pokes a hole there. It looked like the Jolly Green Giant was blowing fucking smoke <laughs> to the ceiling. <laughs> I said, I said, you see that, bro? That don't look good. Put your face piece on. As soon as, <laughs> as, soon as he kneeled down and put his face piece on, boom, the whole thing, the whole thing fucking collapsed. Yeah. And I forgot the guy's name in Rescue Four. I see how he got trapped because now we scramble. I forgot about my little fucking tool. My little, oh, there's 111 buckets. There's the fire escape. Boom. I went right to the, we went right to the door that we came in. The fucking wall was buckled. The door was jammed. There was a guy in Rescue 4 that got killed that way. Oh, that I forgot was, his name. Uh, I'm it was a while ago. It was right by, uh, off of Steinway yeah. Street and, uh, Pete McLaughlin. Yeah. Pete McLaughlin. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Now I could see that's legit, bro. That whole fucking wall. It's, yes. he I had mean, his when it blew. Yeah. Yeah. It buckled the wall. It's it slammed the door yeah. like somebody slammed it, and it buckled the wall that you couldn't open the door. I'm like fucking what? <laughs> Get me the fuck yeah. out of here! And then the Irons guy had to force it out. Yeah, I went. But, uh, I, I went to that. Pete. I went to Pete the next the next day after Pete passed away. Uh, the marshals called us. We were I was 117 at the time, and we went there to clean out the room that he was in. Just to start mm-hmm. to get, I guess they had to get evidence or whatever they right, had to do. Right. And as we were cleaning it out, I mean, the, the accordion gate was still on the window, right? Mm-hmm. I don't know if he had even, you know, there, w- there was no right. time, like you no said. Time no for time for that. Time. Yep. No. Nope. You could see the outline of his bottle on yeah. on the wall, like you could yeah. see where he was like huddled up uh, yeah. against the thing. Yeah. And I still, I mean, for years and years and years. That really stuck in my head, yeah. you know, about that guy saying, make sure you poke a hole when you go, you know, poke a hole when you first go in. Yep. yep. You pull it, keep going, poke another yeah, hole. Poke check another it. hole. And right. that, you're not, we're not saying pull the ceiling. No. Like guys are like, hole. oh, you're, you're poking a hole, bro. Because like you said, yeah. you poked a hole and it looked like you knew immediately, you know the difference. Right. It's not right. seeping out. It's coming yeah. out. With, it's pushing out. Right. It's pressure. pushing out. Yep. It's not yep. good. So you don't yeah. want to go six rooms into this thing. No, nah. you know it's already pushing. You know, forty feet. Right, behind. you got to wait for the line now. You Correct. Gotta, you wait yeah. for the line. You call for the line right away. Yep. That's so right. that's one thing that I remember from that job. Yeah, that stuck with me my whole career. Uh, unfortunately, you know, from him. Yep, 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 yeah. yep. Uh, Mark Mark Giannini's in the uh, from two seventies in the chat. He said two seventy was there, so they must have called us uh, when they gave the May days. Maybe uh, I'm assuming mm-hmm. for, for the holiday fire anyway. Holiday. Yeah. So he was uh, a good yeah. guy, man. That guy yeah, he's seen me a couple of times. Deal, he explained right? to me, yeah, he's a, he's a real deal. He's a good guy. Yeah. And all he did was step into the into the building, right? He just stepped in, and the, and the floor collapsed. Correct? Well, no, no, that was no, that's Clancy. Oh, that's that Clancy. 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 Yeah, I'm yeah, sorry, yeah. that's who I was thinking of. Clancy. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, so now let's what? talk about Governor's Island. Okay. All right. Now, <laughs> the chief the now we're getting into the broisms. Yeah. yeah no. Now we're getting to the broisms. He's a chief of the rock. Chief of the Rock, and uh, they started like uh, like Joe Honan from 111 and Eric Weiner. Uh, they they said, you know, why can't we do the uh, you know extrication like at 
junkyards. So I'm like, now, I'm not a smart guy, but I'm okay with getting, you know, it sounds a good idea. So I go to Galvin, Mooney, you know, they say, great idea. So now Joe Honan starts doing an Eric extrication at junkyard. So instead of the rig coming all the way to the rock, they go to a local junkyard and they cut up the car. Worked oh, perfect. That's a good idea. Now the forcible entry door, I got uh, Perone. Uh, what the hell is that other guy's name? Oh, Lenny Eberline. Oh, and, uh, I know. I work with Lenny. Yeah, Len. And, and, and <laughs> they did the door, you know, Dawkins. They went, to, you know, the fourth virtue door on the platform. So now we got things rolling out there. And with guys I trust, they're all good firemen, obviously. Right. So now uh, they do the May Day drill at the Rock. And uh, they said you could do the, you know, you could burn. Garrity made this container, Stevie oh, Garrity. Said the G word again. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and, uh, Just say the G man. I don't like the G man. <laughs> so then uh, we, they derived this May Day drill. And, uh, you know, you got to give a spiel because in that container, believe it or not, it gets hot. It'll be oh, down not the ceiling yeah. in the container and maybe 275 at the, you know, at the floor. So right now we have no way of telling it. So the guys that work for tactical, it's like a big joke. Bobby Morovic and them, yeah. who can get the bigger fire? So, of course, whoever's trying to light the fire, they try to make it as big as possible, you know. So uh, they do the fire and then, uh, you know, you're supposed to hit the button if you're in trouble, you know. And we have to have something called a cold red because it's a mayday drill. I told you that. So, uh, <laughs> right. I think Ray, I think Ray Sealy was at a job with squad, and we had real fucking maydays, real ones. How the fuck do you get a real <laughs> mayday at at a drill? I mean, go to the window, bro. Take your mask off. I mean, you know. And, <laughs> so, so now I have to t tell everybody. Sorry, I thought we all needed a little drink there, you know? Yeah. Yeah. You let too many go. Tell everybody that, uh, you know, you got to wear your hood. You got to wear, it's hot. And, you know, some guys, ah, how hot could it be? It's fucking hot, bro. It's hot. A couple, couple guys got burnt, not horrible. You know, <laughs> the guy got, the guy got, <laughs> what, bet? The guy got a little burned on, Burn, come on. burned on his knee and they're blaming me. How do you blame me for him not sweeping the fucking floor? Why are you blaming me? You should have swept the floor as he was going down. <laughs> You know, and then another guy got burnt on his neck. He didn't have his hood on. So, I mean, you know, so the union called me and they complained a little bit. And I'm like, listen, man, you should be embarrassed to call me and say that the drill is too hot. That's, that's absurd. So anyway, they made me put thermal cameras, you know, temperature things on it. So I could tell what the temperature is. And I had to record the temperature at every level. So that's what I did. And then the, governor, the governor's island thing. Hold on. How many, how many guys gave the code red? Oh, a lot. A lot. <laughs> we, we, we used to take bets because Tactical was like a firehouse. There were 27 guys working a Mayday drill. We had to have one guy for every five guys there. That's OSHA. So I had guys like Johnny Nolan, Norbit, Burke, Phil Vincenzo, Rick Garcia, Eddie Galliani. I had all these guys, awesome firemen. That's right. Ricky was and, doing Right. Yeah. And, uh, you know, my rule of thumb was you had to have 20 years to come in tactical. So uh, I had all good guys. So I didn't really do anything. They did everything. I'm just the chief outside, you know. So uh, it's fucking they had Ray Seeley was there with squad. And Ray looked at me and he's like, it's code red. What made they? I said, oh, if code red is real. I said, go up to the second floor. And we had three fucking guys that had to get kind of taken out of there. I'm not going to say cold out. <laughs> we had three guys that had to get taken out. Three guys yeah. called cold red. Let out. Oh. They were let out. Yeah. They were let out. The you had to leave floor, them out. The second floor only had like hay and, and crates. It wasn't the container. The container's hot. The container. The second, hot. Yeah, the container gets hot. The but, container uh, gets hot. But uh, you know what? It's, Bill, it's a learning I, experience. I was going to tell you this. This was, this was the story I had about you. So I'm in 103 for seven, eight years. I move upstate. And I'm traveling back and forth to Brooklyn, and it's taken me three hours. And I'm like, I can't fucking do this. So Coop says to me, "Listen, you got to call off Amina. You got you got to come back to suck, you know." So I call for Chief up, and uh, I'm like, uh, you know, listen, I'm interested in coming back. He's like, "All right, well, sort of deal. You got to do your penance. You got to go to the Rock for a year." So I talk it over my wife. She's like, "I think it'll be good." So I do it. So I think it's the fucking first week or second week I'm there, and you're running the tactical there. Right now, I know you, you know, over the years yeah. on, you know, we weren't, uh, you know, so, so close, but I know, you know, of you. So 
they say, yeah, one of the guys says, yeah, they're doing the tactical. They got two engines, two trucks. Is that what you used to do? Two engines, two trucks or one and one? Um, actually, we ended up going three and two. Uh, it, okay. Well, actually, it, well, it eventually went to like four engines <laughs> and uh, three <laughs> trucks and squad. <laughs> Dude, so I get up on, you were on the second, you were on the balcony. Right. Used to go walk up to the second floor. Right. They used to go in downstairs to the first floor. Right. Do their search. Used to do, the, yeah. you know, the May Day drill where they get yeah. stuff, carry the guy out. Yeah. So I get up there and I'm like interested. I'm like really excited to see this because we never did burns. We always had that stupid gas yeah. thing, that you, you know, so I get there and it's yeah, fucking, yeah, 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 yeah. It's chugging. It's seeping, I should yeah. say, out of all yeah. the cracks of the building. So I'm like, yeah, 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 wow, yeah, it's yeah. A freaking real deal right here, right? It's gonna be it's fun. All the doors are closed. The guys are up there on the on the on the, the balcony, ready to go in, right? Correct. So you're like, all right, truck's going in first. All right, here we go. Open the door up. It's like whoo, coming out like this. Yeah. Right? The guys go in, right? You close the door. So you're like turning around, like, wow, man, that's pretty. That's nice. You know, it looks good in there. You know, guys go in. All right, the engine. You guys ready? All right, you guys going in. All right, start calling. They talk to each other. They go in. All of a sudden, you hear. Uh, what did you say before? Code red? Code red, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you hear a code red. You go like this. I swear, you went like this. You're like, like, son of a bitch. <laughs> you know, like, so now, I guess you're calling all your guys, right? You, 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 you yeah. got the hand, you're calling yeah. all your guys, you know, uh, you know, get over there, see what's going on, whatever, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they drag the guys, you know, every door opens up in the place, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. They, you know, they're like ro roaches, right? They get all the guys out, and... uh you get the guys up on top, and I'm just like standing in the background, and you're like, "Are you fucking guys kidding me, bro? Are you kidding me? This is fucking Disney World right here. This is yeah, Disney, yeah, World. Disney World. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a little rough, man. Oh my god, I was crying. I'm yeah. like, oh my god. You're like, this is the, you don't get any easier than this. What are you doing? You know, like yeah, fuck, you know, that's you're not gonna guy. die, bro. That was my thing. Yeah. You're not gonna die. Right, you know? young boss, you know, a lot of things yeah. happen. You know what I mean? yeah. guys, uh, yeah. and like you said, it did some of those things did get hot. Oh, they got <laughs> yeah. hot, yeah. Governor's Island was another thing. I had uh, Governor's Island, we got to burn the projects over there for the lower Manhattan companies. So we used to bring, go to Governor's Island, pallets, hay, and uh, I had a training blanket. Okay, training blanket. They want to teach guys how to drop the thing when the fire <clears throat> blows out. Right. We had a legit fire. The fucking standpipe breaks. So I got, I think, Novitz in the room, Burke's in the room, Nolan's on top. And Novitz yelling, Philly, it's get, Lou, it's getting, uh, Cap, geez, it's getting hot up here. He said, I said, yeah, I know. The standpipe just burst. He goes, what? I said, the standpipe broke. So now the, the, the guy in the engine goes, the standpipe broke. I said, well, what the fuck do you do? Where's the Clorox bottle? Throw the fucking thing out. We got guys in there, you know? So they do. They throw the Clorox bottle. Of course, the first one, the whole Clorox bottle came out with the rope. But then the next time, they remembered, you know? To hold on to the rope? Right. So you pull up the nozzle line because the, the standpipe legitimately broke. That threw the whole Clorox bottle out the window. Yeah, you yeah, can't yeah, make yeah. That I knew that. I, you know what? I, I could have laid odds on that. but Because uh, you don't really do that much, you know? It's Disney World, bro. Yeah. Yeah, well. Well, so then uh, the guy deploys. Now, Daly's filming it. Chief Daly is filming it, like the Governor's Island thing. So uh, I, I can't find the roof man. I'm like, Nolan, where's the roof man with the, with the, with the blanket? He goes, well, I don't know. I said, handle it, bro, handle it. I don't want to hear it, just handle it. You know. So Nolan had to find the guy, brings him to the right window. They deploy the blanket. The thing fucking burst up like a can of gasoline. <laughs> <laughs> so now Dale, he's filming this, and he looks at me. <laughs> You're like, cut, cut. Dale, he goes, is that supposed to happen? I'm like, fuck if I know, bro. <laughs> yeah. I don't and know. I don't know. Put the fire know. out. So now I find out it's it's roasted, the blanket. It's fucking training blanket. It's not like, you know, like you go there for training ropes, a real rope, you know? Right. A uh, training blanket is plastic, bro. It's fucking. Oh, good. It ain't. It ain't a real blanket. I didn't know that. Who the fuck yeah. knew that? So what the hell? He yeah. found that out. How are you supposed to test it if it's not the real situation? I mean, what I, was it? I thought it was a real blanket, man. Until it went up in flames. I said, <laughs> man, I, <laughs> I said, boy, this is fucking. You, that, I said, would, you should, that would be classic. That would yeah. be classic. I said, classic. if I were you, Daily, I'd cut that right out, man. Yeah, it looks like the train perfect. blanket ain't working. Yeah, the fucking you know? tape right in the building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those built great. They were great fires, Those man. Were real buildings. You were doing live burns, Yeah, right? yeah, live burns and yeah. short federal projects over there. 
and the standpipe fucking legitly busted and water went flying. We had no water on the fire. Now we got guys in there. They had a couple couches and chairs and we threw extra pallets in, you know? And uh, <laughs> it was good. Though. It was ex- excellent training, man. Yeah. Excellent training. Hey, but it's the real deal. Who is uh, Ron Zoni? Keep saying hi to you from 107. Ron yeah. Zoni. Oh, I, I think I know this guy, Ronnie. Ron Zoni. I don't know. He said, Tell yeah. Chief uh, Phil. I said, Hi. Chief- I think his name, his real name is Ronnie. Yeah. All right. uh, Ron Zoni 107. So, but that's oh, it, man. Shit. I, 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 that, that tactical training was as good as a firehouse, man. Norbert cooked fucking meals for 30 guys. Funny guys, man. Yeah, Norbert was a good guy, man. He was awesome fireman and uh, professional ball breaker. And he held nothing back, man. Like, he asked some guy, how do you make egg foo young? Because he looked Chinese. The guy goes, how the fuck do I know? I'm Korean. <laughs> <laughs> I know I who said, you're talking I, about now. I know I said, who you're talking about. I said, no, but you're going to get fired, bro. He goes, ah, they're not going to fuck uh, I, mean, I really want to know how to make it. I want to make, know how to make a general chow. I said, well, you asked the Korean guy. You don't know. <laughs> they make, they make hey, dog. Chief, you want to talk a little bit about uh, the, the motorcycle club? What's the club that you're in with? Uh... Uh, Leathernecks. They're all Marines. We, you know, we support veterans. And uh, there's not much to talk about there. We just uh, You go on rides. You do all that yeah, stuff? Yeah, we go on rides. We go to benefits. We go to, uh, you know, unfortunately, we go to a lot of funerals for the Marines that died in the past, you know? You know, even World War II, uh, you know, whatever's in our area, we'll escort the body to the cemetery, you know? So, Chief, what, uh, was, what was your job when you were a Marine, out of curiosity? Motor T. I fixed trucks. Right on. But you were so, still, you could still shoot with the best of them. Yeah, yeah, sure. of course I could shoot. Yeah, anybody went to Paris Island could shoot. You're fucking there for a goddamn month, shooting yeah. every day, every day, every day, every day, every day. <laughs> in the rear, yeah, it was in the rear with the gear. Yeah, are, you yeah, still, yeah. are you still shooting now or no? Yeah, He's yeah, still, I still shoot. Daddy had something right next to him, didn't you? Yeah. Allegedly. I don't know. You allowed to? <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> yeah. Allegedly. By all means, don't make me pull mine. <laughs> oh, it's Pete, awesome, you, man. Pete, you pull yours every day. What are you kidding me? Hey! <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. All right. Good recovery, man. Yeah, good one. All right. Oh, is that that time already? What do we got? Is it, I think we're at the, you know what time it is. Is it that time? Give it to him. Give it to him. Guys, you know what time it is. It's time for the old school tip of the day. Okay. That's you. Go with it. I, I think the uh, one of the most important, I mean, of course, sides up, but uh, everybody knows that. Uh, going down the cellar or go down the stairs. It's not just the backup man's to get that bow up there. A nice big bow, not a little fucking tiny little bow. A nice big bow in the line. Uh, it's also the officer's job, obviously. And the nozzle man who's going to get roasted like a hot dog if he can't make it down the stairs. So the three is between the three of you, you should figure out that that fucking bow better be there before you head down. That's it. That like is... It. Uh... One, I, I used to tell, I told this uh, not too long ago, 290, uh, Dom Carino, he used to practice with, he used to put three lengths off the front with a shut off. He would charge the line. He did great drills, that guy, man. He did. He disconnected, he disconnected it. So you could move the three lengths of inch and three quarter around. Mm-hmm. And then they used to practice putting the bow like above your head. Yep. Like oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You got it. And not a little thing. Yeah. Right. Because as soon as you go down, the, st- the, the line will play out the whole way down the stairs. Right. With Correct. That, if you have and enough. It helps line. you, man. The way right. it, it helps pushes you. you a little bit. And right. I'm talking not an Irish bow. I'm talking an Italian bow. So, before we end, we got to go over the. Uh, the shirt, Pete. Oh yeah, okay. shirt oh, up. Oh, ten four. Um, so so it right up. You could. I'll, I'll kind of set the stage. So this shirt was actually given to the chief on your retirement. Is that how it worked out? Yeah, chief? actually, everybody wore one of those in uh, tactical training on our last day. <laughs> so all right. <laughs> so you Pete, you make that bigger, Pete. Yeah, 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 go through the line because that, well, some of those I was crying today. Yeah, well, the twat mobile was a uh, uh, what I called the. Uh, <laughs> They gave me a Prius. I never had a Prius before. I don't even know what a Prius is. 
So uh, they gave me the Prius. They call that the twat mobile. Everybody only parked. <laughs> I think I think Johnny Nolan used that more than I did. And uh, as far as madness goes, it's it, it, you know it's it's madness. It's, it's fucking crazy. Mad. It's a crazy world. Yeah. Uh, the pussification of the job. I always used to tell them, do not let the pussification of America drip down on the job. Right. Right. Don't, you know, keep that away from us. Uh, when your asshole starts puckering, obviously means yes, things, things are that. starting to go bad. Yes. <laughs> right. Uh, the cyanide, you suck the cyanide out of you. I didn't know much about this hazmat stuff, so that's all I used to say. <laughs> Whatever they give you, it sucks the cyanide out of you. Uh, then uh, hit the red button, you know, to shut the fuck up button. <laughs> you know? That was uh, easy. And send a runner, bro, is, uh, you know, uh, you, when you call, you, you're held up. Uh, you call two, you know, two seventeen to two fourteen. Uh, we need more line. Uh, you know, send a runner. And if it don't work, you tell the chief. If it don't work, send a runner. You know, send somebody <laughs> out there and say we need more fucking line and help. Uh, and that that all goes hand in hand with pin the motherfucker. <laughs> you know, like uh, if I if I didn't get no line and I was in two fourteen, let's say, and I, we were stuck, I would and I know two seventeen second do. I would call two seventeen. 214 to 217, bro, we're stuck around the corner. We need more line. Right, right, now. right, right, right. Because right. if you ever had the nozzle and you can't make the turn, you're yeah, yeah, cooking. It's, it's gone. No. Right. Right. So uh, the fire is rolling fire. merrily. That's just happy. <laughs> I love fire. <laughs> <laughs> a, a toisola. Everybody knows what a toisola is. <laughs> I don't know. Wait, wait, wait. What's a toisola? I have no idea what a toisola is. Uh, a, a toisola is kind of like, uh, like a fag. Not meaning fag in that sense. Of, He's a uh, bit of a dandy. Chief, yeah, not that there's anything dandy. wrong with that. Not that he's there's a anything wrong. You know, the guys at Twazola, leave him alone. Uh, uh, <laughs> okay, <laughs> boys in the hood is just something I always used to say when I came to work. Okay, boys in the hood, what are we going to do today? You know, uh, what's your name, bro? Everybody knows that <laughs> one. Because <laughs> we don't know his name. That's why we're going to use mm. bro. Situation, uh, we had a little <laughs> snafu. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I used to tell the truth when somebody got burned. <laughs> oh, shit. Situation normal, all fucked up. That's what Snapple stands for. Yeah, like. yeah, I like uh, it. Handle it, bro. That was what I told Johnny Nolan. Yeah, yeah handle like, it, bro. You know, he's like, I can't find him. I'm like, handle it, bro. Uh, and uh, are you on fucking crack, bro? I mean, somebody is so stupid. <laughs> they gotta be smoking crack. It felt like kind of when you said, This is Disney World, bro. Are you Disney kidding me? World. Disney World. Crazy. And shit the bed. You know what shit yeah, the bed is. is. And uh, adapt true. and overcome is still my motto. You know, What's the one it, crossed you know. out? Uh, 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 yeah, I don't want to say that one. His old lady, on the job. His old lady uh, put the uh, gun. Right. Yeah, my son put the gabach on. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, <that's right. laughs> Chief, uh, Mr. Yeah. Mr. Patty Step in the uh, chat would like to tell you that Marines, if you fart in a balloon and paint, in, paint it red, Marines love it. <laughs> I don't even know what does that mean. He's just busting balls with the oh, Marine. Yeah, yeah. He's he must awesome. be in the Navy or something, this guy. Yeah, the exactly. Like that. Right, right, right. <laughs> he's the guy... Yeah. He's the guy who drives you around when you got to go to war, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, thank God. I was a peacetime Marine. I give nice. a lot of credit to these other guys, man. There you go. The guys before you were badasses, dude. Oh, my face. Are, that, that shirt. You got any those shirts? You selling any of them? What do you got? No, no. I, I My son's only got like one or two. and uh, <laughs> Maybe John Nolan has some. You know John yeah. Nolan, right? Yeah, yeah. Speaking, good, uh, speaking of your son, this is a great photo right here. I think this is beautiful. Yeah. That's you, you and your know? son? That's awesome. That's yeah, that's all awesome, Joe graduated that day. Yep. Yep. I mean, just for the audience who's listening, uh, you got your son on the left with your uh, bunker gear on, and uh, obviously it's you on the right, and you guys are staring at the big where, where was this FDNY? Uh, that's at the rock. Uh, that's a new wall at the rock. Yeah. I gotcha. Really nice. Man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. see, yeah. Patty, Patty Steps said he is in the army. See, he's an army guy. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Before we run off, who? What is that other picture there with you, your your uh, arm and arm with uh, a guy there? Who is that? Your cousin, you said, or your brother-in-law, or something? Who is that? That's my cousin. Uh, we both at the trade center. Uh, that was a, a shitty day, actually. Uh, I think it was a Saturday. I think we worked in the stairwell that day, in the middle of the stairwell. Sorry. You know, you had to, remember you had to walk. You had to walk across the. Uh, you had to walk across the uh, portable ladder, land across the crevice. And hold the rope yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. to get to the stairwell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. yeah. My cousin was there for boat collapses. We didn't really? get there. We were in the coming out of the sec the battery tunnel when the second one came down. 
Wow. So we all survived. 209 almost got caught. They got caught in the second one, but they all lived. So, yep. Roll it yeah. a dice, right, Chief? To roll yep, it that's dice. exactly what it was, man. And uh, I'll tell you. And where's the picture of him there with the Chief? The last one, Pete. That's a good picture of him. This one right here. There he is. Look at him. Nice stash. Yeah. Still got the same yeah. stash. Yeah. I, you know, that might have been talking that somebody wanted to film something. Uh, I forgot. Oh, they were redoing firehouses. I think eight, eighteen, squad eighteen, maybe his kitchen and somebody else's kitchen, and uh, one of the chiefs couldn't make it, so they asked me to go down. I said, "Okay, I think it's something small." They had a fucking camera crew there. They had a, they had all kinds of shit. I'm like, these guys are in trouble, man. Yeah. <laughs> they kept cut, cut, cut. Yeah, cut, yeah, cut, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. So then he asked me about nine eleven. I said, "Ah, I don't talk about nine eleven." He, oh, yeah, but on 9-11, I said, what part of I don't fucking talk about 9-11? Didn't you understand? Oh, <laughs> silence. He didn't ask me no more. He was a nice guy. The, the guy's name, I think, was Kevin Harris. I think his name was. He was a director from California. I oh, forgot yeah. the name of the show, man. They, they redid Firehouses, and I had to pick which one was better. Something silly like that. I don't know. Some silly shit like that. Yeah, but it was all right. I played a game when I got to play the game. There you go. Oh, we all. Awesome. Awesome. Yep. Yep. That puts a bow on this one, PD. Great one, Chief. Great show. Thanks for coming on. We really uh, appreciate it. Thanks for having me, man. My this is fun. Oh, yeah, this is fun. Funny <laughs> shit. Funny, funny, funny. So it's it's a good. picture of that shirt. I'm like, oh my god. This is gonna be <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. They're crazy. You got any, uh, you got any shout would, outs, Ruffy? I'm sorry, uh, get you. No, not really. I mean, the only shout, but. I just want to thank the guys in Tactical for making uh, my stay there at the end. Great. They were dynamite, man. Yeah, uh, kind of gone, right? was, like I said, as, yeah. as good as any firehouse I ever worked in. That's you know, it was fun. I had a good time. Yeah, it could have made your life miserable being there. You know what I mean? It could yeah. Have, yeah, yeah. And uh, they did everything, bro. I didn't do a fucking thing, man. They were the men. The lieutenants, the captains. It. They yep. took care of it. Yeah. There you That's go. all Take I had to say. They needed a new drill. They handled the drill. Fuck the wino. <laughs> you know? I, don't, I really don't. Those guys are good. So uh, what do we I got coming? Wish yeah, I was on the job show. I mean, obviously, yeah. everybody does. And I don't care. I'll deal with the turmoil. Yeah. Like, uh, it's a boring <laughs> life. Being yeah. retired is a boring life. You know what it is? It's, what, <laughs> you know, we've been seeing it. The more me and Kevin do these shows, you kind of see the same thing, right? It's it's the turning into the block, right? To me, what, yeah. what, what I think about what I really miss, right? I still talk to the guys. I talk to the guys every day. You know what I mean? So it's not so much right. the guys. It's I'm doing this, so it's really not so much the kitchen. Yeah. It's what I remember is turning into that block and seeing yeah. being the first company in there and yep. seeing the fire out the window. You know, you can't yeah. create that adrenaline. You know, nah. what I mean? you can't. Nah, uh, you can't. You can't. I mean, I, tr I try. I go 100 miles an hour on the fat boy. That's about yeah. as close as I can get. <laughs> that ain't doing it, bro. It actually almost took my other leg off, you know? Yeah, yeah. Don't do that. No, don't do that. So, uh, yeah. So, I mean, we talked to a lot of guys, and, and I think this is something that is, uh, you know, Kevin and I, we talk about this, Pete, as well. You know, it's resonating with the guys around the country, uh, and especially even on our job. But we get a lot of calls from guys on the FDNY, which, you know, when we first started this, I didn't think yeah. that would be the case. But right. – it, it really is a lot of the old stories and a lot of the, you know, we're not saying that it's the best thing, but it's no. a lot of fun and uh, yeah. Yeah. stuff, yeah. you know. And, and, it, and it's good shit, bro, because you keep it in the back of your head. Right. You're not, yeah. You don't have to teach it to nobody. Just keep it. If you're a boss, you keep it in the back of your head. If you're a fireman, you keep it in the back of your head. Yeah. And I tell you, I can't thank uh, 120 enough, man, in 231. They take care of the kid, right? Take care of the kid. He's doing good, man. Yeah, He's good. into it, and uh, yeah, that's good the main that. thing. Yeah. You know? Excellent. So, listen, Petey's going to take us out. Just uh, don't hang up because we're going to, you know, we're going to the back like we were before. So just hang okay. up. Okay, 10-4. All right. Well, if you guys are listening to us on an audio podcast, which, of course, you can find on Spotify and iTunes and wherever fine podcasts like ours are found, you can also find us at YouTube.com forward slash getting salty experience. Guys, take your little digits. Give us the finger right there. Finger. Give us the finger, Chief. You see this? Try and try. Not on. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 hey,
So, <laughs> so what you're going to do is like, subscribe and share, boys. Like, subscribe, and share so we can get out to your firehouse so we can hit the road. We want to go everywhere and do big, big things. We do have some big, big things planned, so stay tuned. And, of course, Mr. Refrano over there is uh, at Salty Dog Inc. Uh, on Instagram. And let me tell you guys, if you love curated, amazing fire fighting photos especially that old school salty stuff that we're all about go check that out and you'll get all your last minute up to the second information on whatever shows we're doing last but not least guys check us out at getting salty apparel.com hey kev one of the guys in the chat prior had asked when the lighter is coming out with the with the uh i was i was told mid-july it should be shipping so boom it takes, about, it takes about 30 days till we get it so i'm gonna say sometime around middle august there it is. So you guys and, uh, uh, don't forget, uh, we'll be in Philly for the Interschultz on the 15th. I think this is the 15th, 16th and 17th of October. So come on down to the Interschultz. We'll hang out. We'll do a little drinking. We'll We're talking about maybe doing a podcast live from the Interschultz or any other number of things. I got some ideas there. So yep. uh, we'll talk about that. But uh, guys, last but not least, uh, hit us up if you have any questions uh, with uh, at uh, getting salty experience at gmail.com. And gents, thank you so much. That was a great show. Excellent. Thank cool. you. I just want to say uh, on Monday, we'll probably be doing a QA. We could change that up if we get uh, Chief Jonas, uh, if he's available. But right. we'll with the QA, depending on how that things work out. And then on Thursday, we have uh, we got the squid. We got uh, Captain Calamari from 120. Uh, we've been waiting for him. He's coming. He just came back from Florida, so uh, it, it's going to be a treat uh, to have him up next. So yep. uh, I think uh, Jonas might be talking about the uh, triangle fire. Yeah, the triangle shirt factory fire. Yep, and also that uh, he rode the collapse down. Right. So we're going to try to get him on for Monday, or if we can't get him for Monday, we'll be doing a Q and A. Yeah, and don't email me. Don't email Lou. Whatever you do, he gets very touchy. Don't if, you do, if you do email him, make sure you start the email like this. All right, Rock on! <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, cool. all right, fellas. Listen, till the next time, bro. Stay low and go. Chief Phil, great night yes. tonight. Thank you very much. I Thank appreciate you. it. We'll see you at the Thank big one. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Hey, guys.